from Yorkshire? Oh no, you're from like hello? Lancashire or some shit, aren't you? Hello. Yorkshire is not hello, the only hello, hello, hello. That's the fucking south of England. Fuck it, no, it's, it's the what? north. Fuck you. Are you stupid? Oh, boy. The north is up. Okay, well. We... Hi yeah. everyone, welcome to Dungeon Select. Hey, <laughs> everybody. Welcome to Dungeon Select, session 41 of uh of this of this shit show um little hiatus due to people you know me being busy other people being busy just end of summer we things. just had a summer holiday a little, little two-week summer break ecto thanks so much for the uh weeks. three weeks three weeks no, it was two no it was two there's been like 18 we, we days we missed two sessions but there was like a week then we missed a session then a week then it's we been... missed a session then a week then this one so been a lot three two weeks. sessions three weeks two sessions, two sessions. Two sessions. All right. Anyway, anyhow, um, we're back. We're gonna we're gonna kick things off. I'm gonna give you guys a recap just to get back into the flow of things in a bit. But <laughs> before anything else, any announcements? Anything we wanna you guys wanna share yeah. with the class? Go on. Hell yeah. Um, if for anyone that wasn't at the stream on Friday, episode four of Call of the Nether Deep is up on YouTube. Go check it out. It's another I had a melt shorter I had a, session. I had a meltdown. Yeah, D Dutch had the finally after a long time of being forever DM experiencing. Oh yeah, it sucks when you're the one who rolls like shit and the monsters roll well. <laughs> it's a good no, time. No, it wasn't even that. It was just. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not getting into it. I'm the better man. Okay, Set him mad. Off. Set him off. Annoyed that monster had good physical stats and and intellectual stats yes. at the same time. Felt very yeah, it unfair. Sucks to apparently. Suck, doesn't and it, it smelled like shit. <laughs> yep. But it so died episode anyway, four so up on YouTube. Go check it out. Yes. Episode five will be September sixteenth, live on Twitch. And tomorrow is my seven year anniversary on Twitch because I'd be old. So twelve hour stream oh, to celebrate. Damn. And there's gonna be a, a sub goal, which if we hit the sub goal, I'll give away a gift card to Cosmic Candles. So Hell yeah. ooh, be there. Sub goal oh, is technically this month is my goal. sixth year. Ooh, exciting. And, I've lost uh, track. Yeah, I mean, it's Guess September, by something. the way, guys. So, you know, the 12 hour stream sub goals. Subs are a little Any cheaper now. Any hot mommies in the chat? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> September? <laughs> Off of September, right? Right. Uh, Wait, I, I saw your tweet. Really so it, it, made, it made me laugh, Duke. I saw your tweet about, like, or the retweet you Guess did. I'm streaming with like, a ball gag. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. It made me laugh. It made, it made me kick. You know, it did, it did, like a little. <laughs> it made me kick. The Lord. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, hate it here, any more announcements? I hate it here, dude. Why are we back? Uh, I'm being uh, Quibus streamed this week. Dude, that's crazy. Quibus streamed and no. Silco streamed together. No. What? And oh. you can watch that on OnlyFans. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> OnlyFans has the feet cam, so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Not an uh, announcement, more of a warning. <laughs> I was in Zonfort all day yesterday, so I'm tired. When so did you, you, you go to the fucking, uh, blah, 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 what is it, F1? Formula One. Blah, 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 yeah. Blah. Hell yeah. Man was watching cars go for no, no, no. hours. Man was being deaf yeah, for like yeah, two hours. <laughs> You'd imagine people hunting their I don't understand. In I don't understand going to like because if you go to like a football match, you see things, right? Going to F1, it's like, oh, I'll see the cars go <laughs> when they're around this one bend that I'm sitting at. What the fuck's the point? Yeah, but they I do mean, like eighty-five laps. Thing. So yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't get it. And I don't get really, it. Really, 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 really rich. You sit in a room with experience screen. and just you know the whole environment. Just wanted to do it once. Yeah. Was cool. I feel like sure. events like that are more it's... about like the crowd atmosphere and feeling yeah. like you are. No, it's like it's I'm like part baseball. of the day and the vibe. But then it is about no, witnessing like the thing you're there to witness. Yeah. The thing itself is kind of like the game. The whole time. But it's like eh, you're really just there to hang out with the crowd and talk shit. You know. But at least. Yo, I watched Pompey. But there's still stuff happening. Constantly, whereas yeah, right, in right, Formula right. One, it is. <laughs> You'll have like three seconds a lap where you see something happen. The rest is just oh, waiting, waiting for. Look, I'm I want to play D and D. Shut the I fuck just... up. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's not too late for me to kick you from the fucking group, Ethan. Right? Relax. Oh, where's my pen? You'll just Brooklyn. make the siren. I'm saying, make the siren just carry Brooks off. <laughs> it's all six of them team together to lift this heavy so, fucking. The best part. Man. The best part is Brooks will let it happen because our <laughs> sirens like hot. They, for at least yeah. the top half is hot. Like, like yeah. no, he'll what, just be like, okay. I can't remember go. the difference between like sirens and happies. Oh, I thought they're the only hot when you get close. Uh, harpies, what are the harpies sirens are like bird-like women, and sirens are fish-like women. Yeah, and like, 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 like,
It depends on how worse. your interpretation. Because sirens are slightly me. different depending on what mythology, what lore, <laughs> what like system. These are very much like like, like the Witcher three sirens, you know, like the gross in the water okay. with like the web. Are they fucking terrifying? Gross fucking tail and yeah. wings coming out of the lower back. It's disgusting. I'm literally yeah. googling Witcher three sirens right now. Would you rather right now, so would you rather face a siren or a reverse siren, or it's fish head? Shut up. Yeah, um, yeah but then you get. I have an announcement. Shut up. Stop. Shut stop. The fuck Ethan, up. announcement. Take it away. I'm actually going to be back streaming this week. Yo! Oh, oh my god, that's when, but the whole crew time is back away from Twitch, and I'm going to stream some as games well. as soon as I find something that doesn't make me want to rage quit after an hour. I do. Apparently, September sucks too, right? Soon, by the way, I want to, dude. Rec little, little recommendation: a game that I'm going to be checking out. And looks like a lot of fun. Fucking Calls of the Lamb looks looks really fucking cool. It does look yes. very good. And you yes, like Hades. It's very like up my alley. Yeah. Like that is out of all the like Binding of Isaac clones, I guess that one reminds me most of Binding of Isaac, and I'm super excited about that. All I've played it's for Skull and Bones months drops next is month. Valorant, Ooh, Stardew Valley, okay. and uh, Thunder. You don't care about that game? No. That I game thought you would have since you really like Sea of Thieves. That game has been in development hell for like five years. I, for, I, I don't Which care game? anymore. Skull and Bones. Like Ubisoft's Pirates game. It could be good. It could be really shit. I feel like people got excited when it got announced because that was when the Black Flag Ubisoft pirating ship control mechanics were still like very like relatively fresh. And that's the engine and the team that's doing it. But I feel like now it's not going to be as good anymore because there's been games since that have done it better. You know what I mean? I don't know. Been I mean, I still think it could be time. really good. My I mean, yeah. problem is that it's Ubisoft doing it. Yeah, but you know, we'll we'll see. I don't personally care, but you know, hey man, maybe maybe That's maybe fair. I'll be I'll be surprised. Maybe in a few weeks I'll be like, oh my god, so you were right. Well, no, you never know. Um, I have an announcement in the, the same vein. Like the last like half a year, I've really not really been a consistent streamer. So I'm gonna be getting back to that starting this Tuesday. I want to make sure that I get like two to three streams a week in uh, on a regular basis on like set days and stuff because life has been a fucking mess. For like the last year and i'm ready for it to just not be shitty anymore so i'm gonna focus more on things that i enjoy doing like streaming to force myself to do some things that i enjoy instead of be a depressed fuck and lay in my bed 17 d days a month you know what i mean so you know it's gonna be fun i'm gonna be playing i'm gonna really be playing specific. fucking cult of the lamb i'm gonna be dude spooktober next month looking really fucking good i have a bunch of games that i that i want to play it's gonna be good good ass fucking time good ass time Right. Anyone else have anything they want to say before we get into today's sesh? Going once. Going Let's twice. Get ready to rumble. Oh, Roll yeah. initiative. Pause champ. Almost. Um, so rumble. last we left off. A few, you know, a good amount of sessions back. The party agreed to accompany Captain Vera Silex on a venture to retrieve um, a, a powerful artifact from a set of islands um, that have not really been charted or, or explored except for by some very dangerous individuals. Um, <clears throat> this artifact is Unreleased Trident. Um, after making the arrangements, signing the contracts under strict supervision of a Lazarin, who is a bit of a, you know, that's his thing. Um, you guys agreed to accompany her on this venture, uh, after dealing with some other loose ends uh, of your own. But the time came, you boarded the ship, the Porcupine, and you set off. You are currently on your second day of this, this is five-day venture to get to where you need to be to retrieve said artifact, which is guarded by an undead champion of Umberly, oh, while well, Umberly isn't... Well, what you've learned about Umberly is that she's not fully present on this plane of existence, and she can only be here a limited amount of time uh, before she's forced to uh, back off again. So her her trident is on this plane of existence and is in being guarded by one of her champions, um, which, you know, you'll, you'll learn more about as you get there. Um, <clears throat> first day of travel uh, on the Porcupine, you all got assigned your roles, your, your, your stations, and you had to go through a, 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 a check, a cargo check, 
performed by the high sea protectors as they've kind of formed a little bit of a perimeter around uh Keldar but yeah Keldar I guess um because that is the their jurisdiction that's their province where they where they are are based in and you guys made it through the check just fine nothing shady got found so you were given permission to continue on um the next day, you woke up, and uh, Davi did spot that there is a bit of a storm brewing in the distance that he expected to hit somewhere throughout the evening of that day. Um, so you're not quite there yet, but you are, you know, you, you are aware that there's a storm brewing and, and that, that might hit your ship uh, later in the day. But before that all happens, you guys, your ship got surrounded by six feminine-looking um, elves, question mark, who dip their torso and head above the water. One of the crewmates seemingly kind of under, under a charm as he walked towards the edge of the ship. And as that happened, one of the creatures revealed a sharp, slimy, scaly tail where you would expect her legs to be. And these, like, webbed, gross, slimy wings sprouting from the lower back. And with one one quick jab, penetrated this crewmate's torso with her tail and pulled him off the ship. Your ship and your crew is under attack by a group of sirens. And I would like you all to roll initiative, please. Oh, oh here we go. Uh, sort my shit out. Oh, must die out of... Jail. Oh, I can't remember when the fuck I lost David. Put it so back probably in jail. not. It's probably been used. Shit. Let me just quickly. All right, this is all in frame. Yeah, 20, Beautiful. Let me just real quick. Uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the initiative, boys. I rolled yep. pretty fucking shit as well. Oh I no. Okay, but not the natural twenty I had. Not with the uh, the advantage I have. I rolled two single digit numbers. Just quickly yeah. reveal these two different ones. Sirens. There are six of them. So imagine, right? We're like away for Man, almost no three weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> we still only have two. Oh no, three custom boys. True. Um. So just for sake of, uh, I just kind of plopped all your tokens in there. Like, where would you all? Oh, be? look at them float. I see the Davian. Well, who's the other custom token that we have? Brooks. Uh, Brooks, and then OSG. Oh. And oh, OSG. Yeah. OSG Look obviously uh, or Kai obviously would be at would be at the wheel because yeah. that's his that's his station. More. Yeah. Where would you say really? you lot would would be right now? And I'm just gonna go down the order. Uh, uh Laura, where would you say Daigon would be standing in this scenario? Uh maybe close to the last thing in my notes that I did was I'd had that chat with Vera. Mm -hmm. So maybe like close to wherever the doors to her yeah, so that would be, that would be like orders were, I guess. Here. Yeah. It's like the captain's sure. cabin is basically under like, like, like yeah. this bit, so yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Koiba, where would you say Lazarus would be standing? Oh, a hundred percent, like either at the bottom of the stairs coming up, or just got to the top because he is treating us like a fucking cruise. So okay, we'll say that you're like on the stairs then. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, He's playing shuffleboard. Ethan? Yeah, literally. It's gonna fuck me over for what I had potentially planned, but I think that if Brooks was on the deck. Mm -hmm. He would have moved towards the guy before he got speared. So yeah, so we'll say well that would be like you'd be like here, looking at what, yeah, what the fuck. To try and stop it. So would this be fine, like on this side of the ship, like by the railing? Yeah, I mean it's gonna cook me anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Duke, where would Davian be? At the foot of the mizzen on the starboard stern side. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't <laughs> uh, uh, the top right square of the main mast. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Here? Main mast? Yeah, right, right there, yeah. And we'll yeah. set it Onu That's is like... the starboard Onu, stern Onu, Onu, square Onu, of so the mizzen mast. The mizzen is the middle. <laughs> I yeah. didn't know what the mizzen was, that's why I got really confused. Uh, Same, yeah. I was like, um... Cool. Kes, Bell, where would Kes be? I can't see the map. I'm oh. ready for sailing, chat, don't you worry. Just... I can't... Discord. Yeah, I know, but I can't, like, when I click on it, it just comes up with a grey loading screen and I can't see anything. Huh. Oh, no. Look at stream. Wait, Wait no, but let's fucking, hold on, let me just quickly, skirt. Restart it for you, Bell. <coughs> hold on, skirt. 
scan. Did that fix it? I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> that's, that sounds like a you problem then. Um, Make it like 720p instead of 1080p 60fps maybe. Imagine having shitty internet, dude. I would, I would, I, I wouldn't even. How do I? Oh, right. Boom, boom. Nope. I think it's a problem on my end. Just quickly, but... like, restart Discord. Fuck it. While we're okay. still in the setup phase, it's fine. Soko, mm -hmm. where would Jax be in the meantime? I'd be up Kai somewhere, navigating. Uh, nap is. You would probably be by Kai then, yeah. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Say that you're here. I'm gonna throw my firing pan out. We'll say that chip is obviously not far from 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 Kai's side, being being his little little buddy. Fucking <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> mad! God damn it! Fuck's sake! <clears throat> And just for uh for for everyone's like uh just to explain these things these um can I pick these up no I can't the far right two like guns I guess are the are ballistas and same one there's also yeah. one on the front of the ship the two okay. like stands are there to represent the the mangonels so like the the the, the catapults type uh, things. Okay. In case y'all would want to uh, make use of those. Bell? I think Bell's just sort of broke. Bell died. Bell's <laughs> everything broke. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bell missed. Oh my god. I mean, we are so excited to finally have everybody here. The is probably shit. Oh! I'm back. I can see it now. Beautiful. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Yay! So where would Kess be, Bell? Um. Uh, <laughs> next to Daigon. Yeah. Could you imagine if Bell just went, where I am right now would be fine? <laughs> <laughs> where I am right now. Well, uh, we'll you know, put Hawthorne Where's right beside you. Okie dokie. Then. I need to roll initiative for the fucking sirens real quick. Oh my god. What the hell, dude? What? Hmm? Relax, what relax. What the dude. hell, dude? What in the dude? hell? Frickin' heck. Now you listen here, boy. I see now you listen here, boy. Boy, I said boy. Call me boy, I said call you boy. Huh? I love how Soko's gone like deep southern, but Koiba's the fucking chicken lawyer from Family Guy. Boy? Boy? <laughs> I said, boy. I said, I said, boy. I said, 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 Dirty 20, okay. Dirty 20. Anyone else? 20 plus? Okay. 15 to 20. 19. 19. <sighs> Which one oh, of you has okay. the higher decks? Probably me. I think so. I have a plus one. <laughs> I would like a plus four. Okay, so 19 <laughs> for Kess. And then Kai, okay. Anyone else? 15 to 20? Oh boy. 10 to 15. Uh, 14. 14 for Chip, the, the parrot. Okay. I got 11. So we got 14 for... Uh, Davian. Got a 14 for Chip. We've got an 11 for Daigon. And a yes. 10 for Elazarin. Did I hear that right? Yarp. Uh, Jax? Um, one. One? What did, uh, what did, what did Thorn get, Bell? Uh, oh yeah, uh, nine. Oops, nine for Thorn. Okay, let's quickly convert, put that in the fucking turn order. Alrighty. Boom. So, we have top to bottom. Okay. Alright, cool. Yeah. Brooks. <laughs> Guess Kai. <clears throat> the siren. 
Then we have Davian. Chip. The Siren. Chip is a cute name. Uh, this Siren. Daigon. Uh, Lazren. That siren. We long rested, this right? Siren. And then we were, we were yeah, woke yeah. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then to close it off, we have Jax. Boom. Alrighty. Let me fucking whip out the stats now. You know, that's probably something that I need as well. I have so many fucking things open right now, dude. Holy shit. I need like five more monitors. Alrighty. Brooks, you get to kick it off. What do you want to do? Hmm, well, shit. Okay. Um, <coughs> you, my Pirates of, of the Caribbean battle music, baby. Are Let's go. be in melee range. The harpoons that are loaded into the. The no harpoons Happy are ballistas, stuff. so there's. They're right the, now. The ballistas that are loaded in. They're ballistas, not harpoons. Rockets. Are. They, uh. So they're just like a. A wooden rod and a metal head, right? Yeah, just very big crossbow bolts, I guess. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's no like rope attachment or anything. They're just standing crossbow. Pretty much, yeah. I'm pulling a rope out of my inventory. Okay. I'm gonna take however long it takes to uh, fucking tie that around one of the fucking <laughs> ballista bolts. Uh, we'll say that'll be your action. Make a. <laughs> Make a dex. No, let's make it sleight of hand. I'm good at sleight of hand. It's a 25. Yeah, easy. You you manage to tie some knots and that rope. As far as you're convinced that it's secure enough to, uh, I guess, use as an impromptu like yeah harpoon now more than more than just a, a loose bolt. Yeah. As my bonus action, can I load it? Sure. Yeah. We'll say, that you, we'll say that you move like towards it then, yeah? So like, you, you step yeah. to the right. Yeah, I assume I've moved towards <clears> it. <throat> okay, like yeah, so yeah, for your action, you, you made it, so you, you attached the rope to it, and then for your bonus action, I'd say you could load it, yeah, for sure. Cool. That is my turn. Okay. Kess. Um, okay, for my action, I'm going to cast uh, Mage Armor on myself. And for my bonus action, I'm going to cast a uh, hex on the top right siren. Okay. Hex, uh, oh, boom. That is number two. I need to write that down. All right. Is your turn? Do you want to move anywhere? Uh, That's my turn. Okay. Guy. Um, would it be fair to say if guy with experience on the sea knows that sirens do the singing stuff business? Uh, yeah. You, obviously, yeah. You, you've been a part of this crew. You've, 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 yeah. You're aware of 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 sirens in there. Plus, you already you also kind of saw it happen with one of the crewmates when right right before the fight, oh. when the crewmates got like lulled into this foggy minded state and went to the edge and then got fucking joinked into the yeah. water. Okay, and I'm happy that's. Pass me, wrote this down. Um, I will yell to everybody to, uh, I'm not going to do the voice because I'm too tired for it, but I will just to be the, come close, come close, don't listen to the song, and I will uh, stamp my wooden leg on the floor and cast Warding Wind. Oh. Um, oh, what's that do? What's that do? It uh, whips up a strong wind. Uh, 20 miles an hour uh, around uh, me in a 10 foot radius mm -hmm. uh, moves with me. Okay. Uh, remaining centered on me. Um, it deafens uh, myself and other creatures, other creatures in this area. Oh. Um, it also, uh, if unprotected flames go out, uh, vapor, gas, and fog disappear. Um, it is uh, difficult terrain for creatures other than me. Mm -hmm. And ranged weapon attacks have disadvantage if the attack passes in or out of the wind. Okay. So outgoing attacks would also have disadvantage yeah. if it's a ranged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Cool. Yeah, so you could but technically... But we can't hear the could... song, so... Yeah, yeah so technically really you could... <laughs> so it's a 10-foot radius, so right now, from yeah. where you're standing, that would cover... Uh, 5, 10, so here... So that would cover Kess, Daigon, Jax, <gasps> Hawthorne, and Chip. Like this, yeah. like, these, like, this, like, circle of, of people are all inside that wind right now. Yeah, so, uh, they are all deafened if they stay there. Okay. And that's uh, it, because I got Captain Judy's to stay at my post and make sure that we get to our destination safely. Fair enough. Alrighty. I would just be like... Okay, uh, one of the sirens, or this that's one, to be exact, is going to... Ruh -ruh. Fly up. <laughs> oh no. And Elazarin is closest. <laughs> Hello! So it's gonna just like kind of like hover above you, Elazarin. Uh, and is going to. Ba -ba -ba -bam. You can see that her hand initially looks just like a, a, a normal, like feminine, like, like a, a hand. Female and, ha woman hand? Yeah, I know those. And as it gets closer to you, you can see these, like, gnarly claws start to form and, like, these sharp nails, and it looks a lot more disgusting and gnarly. You can see, like, some scales on it and some, like, gooey, slimy res oh. residue as it's going to just yeah. swipe at your throat. Wow. Well. Uh, that is a 12 to hit. Oh, misses. All right, there you go. So you managed to just duck under it. Uh, that is her turn. Davian. Oh, my God. Um, the crewmate <laughs> that got mm -hmm. penetrated, is he Is he dead dead? Like, is uh, there any... He got is he, is stabbed he out there? right in the, in, the, in the chest and then pulled into the water. You can see where he got pulled in. There's this, like, pool of blood, but you don't see a body anywhere. You see three sharks. <laughs> um, does Onu have a swim speed? Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I have no idea if Onu can dive. Beast of the sky. Speed. No, ten, 10 foot, fly 60 foot, that's it. So he can't, I wouldn't be able to check. Um, <laughs> fuck. All right, I will... Whip around and face the one that's uh, attacking Elazrin. Okay. Um. Hmm. Hold on, just let me read this real quick. Uh, five foot cube. Okay, yeah, no, I really shouldn't be throwing around bonfires on the deck of a ship. <laughs> so let me just... <laughs> um, let me just sling a couple Eldritch, Eldritch Blasts at it. Go for it. Go for the, the, the double the double dinger. Uh, they, that's bad. Uh, one's a 15 and the other is a 9. Uh, both miss, actually. Okay, I will... Run... Hold on. You said a 10-foot radius, right? Yeah. Does yeah. that mean if I move 10 feet to the right, I will be within it? Yes. Okay, yeah. So I'll run 10 feet to the right, and uh, as I do so, like before I cross the threshold, mm -hmm. command Onu to fly over and attack the uh, the one that's in melee with the Lazarin. Which is cool, because like, we have like depth now, dude. We can, we can fucking... <laughs> He uh, he misses a hundred percent. It's like a nine. Yeah. Um, and because he didn't hit, mm -hmm. oh no, he can't. He can't still fly. He yeah. He he will he will then fly up out of it. Actually, no, he'll stay there flanking with Elazarin just in case. I don't know. Okay. And right. that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Chip. Uh. He just stays where he is right now. Okay, fair enough. Uh, another siren is going to... It's this one. 
fly up over the railing, sees this like big fuck off storm, and is just not really gonna do anything. Let's see. What's their flying speed? Real quick flying speed. Well, not actually. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's gonna fly towards Brooks. Of course. Because uh, she just can and is going to. Yeah, it's gonna just try and claw at your back while, while you're still like, you're, you know, you're busy with the ballista. So she sees an opening to just swipe at your back while you're not facing her. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, that hits, yeah. Alrighty. You take. Uh, seven points of slashing damage from this, this claw swipe at your back and. Unfortunately, it does tear your shirt a little bit. We all know how much of a, 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 a you, you hate it when it happens. But my, you know, my, I already saw my shirts. Uh, but that is her turn. The silk. Siren number four is also this bottom one. I mean, th th can they see through the like swirling storm of shit? Uh. It just deafens, so... Yeah. Okay, so it's just the wind. It's not like they can't see you anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's just wind. Okay, well, in that case... She's gonna just... Beeline it I think it would affect to... the heading of the ship at all. Like... Uh, sails and the... stuff. There's a, there's, a, there's a mess right there. Yeah. Doesn't say so. She's gonna beeline it to you then, Kai, and go for a claw attack Bring. as well. Bring. Uh, That's a 19 to hit. They're on the ship now! Oh. 19 is my AC. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, double ones on the damage dice, though. So you take four points of slashing Woo! damage. <laughs> Wait. Huh? Which side of the ship did the crewmate get pulled off? Uh, the side where Brooks is at. So, uh, uh, starboard. Mm. How does concentration oh. work? It works again. Oh, is it a concentration spell? Right. Um, yeah. Just roll Cut a con or, ten or con higher. Roll a con check. Or is it saving throw? No, let's check. Oh, right? yeah, no. Right. It, yeah, it's a, it's a it's save. Throw. Can't save. Can't throw. save, sorry. DC 10. Oh, that's a 20. That's, okay. there oh, you go. So the spell's still up, but you're fine. You're chilling. How high up in the air are the sirens that are on the ship levitating? Uh, Five feet above ground. Cool. Because they need to still be able to reach down and swipe at them. So they're yeah, 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 yeah. still a melee. They just choose not to okay. use the ground or the floor. Dagon. Okay, okay. With that said, it is your turn. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go oh. ten feet to the right and be just beneath the one behind Kai. Uh, I get just... Oh it's wait, I guess I also use stairs and shit. Five, ten, fifteen. I'll use my feline agility if I. Oh, no, need I think to you'll be able to make it. Speed. Fifteen. It's difficult terrain. Oh, it's difficult terrain from yeah. here. Yeah, so I'll double Five, my. 10, 15, I'll, I'll use my 20. feline agility. It would be have. twenty feet to get to her. Okay. What's your normal cool. movement speed? Forty. So you can make that without using your feline because cool. they've got ready cuts it. it in half so you're good yeah 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 cool uh and then i am going to pop out the spectral arms my arms of astral self mm -hmm. so she needs to make a dexterity save that's only hostile popping creatures, out the right? arms only hostile creatures you need to do that right that's uh, uh let me double check so. Uh, that she chooses, uh, yeah. Each creature of my choice. Yeah, okay, okay, so okay. yeah, I'm just choosing her. And the, it's like the arms pop out and reach up as if they're trying to try and grab her and like bring What's her down or hold her in place. A dexterity save. Dex 17. Well, fuck her then. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Um, she gets his revenge. It's fine. But, and then, yeah, I'm going to make two attacks with the arms. And again, rather than like a punching, it's like... They're reaching out, to, the spectral arms are reaching out to grab her. Mm -hmm. Like claws come out of the spectral arms Ooh. and would go into her like flesh and I'm holding her in place. Okay. If it succeeds. Oh, you, fuck me. Why? I used all my good rolls DMing. That is um, a 15 and an 11. Both miss, unfortunately. Ah! Okay. That's my turn because my bonus action was popping out the arms. So. Okie dokie. Got not that, so I guess the the arms go for her tail, but she's wiggling her tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. You know, you get it next time. Uh, Elazrin. <sighs> How high is uh, um, Onu flying? Uh, Onu like 20 feet. attacked this creature, right? So th did Onu fly up or did Onu stay there? Yeah. 
Oh no no, he stayed there. He right, stayed there, so, right? He's uh, flanking. About five feet yeah. off the off the yeah. off the ground, to be like equal right. level with uh, the siren. So I can't like get underneath Onu right in that square. I can't be like. You duck. That ha give me an. Oh, e. a shoe belt. Like if Onu was like a, a smaller <laughs> bird, I'd allow it. But Onu himself is oh, quite big, so yeah. Big yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay, and I'll just like step one up then. Here, like um, off the stairs. No, no, no. I still want to. I don't want to uh, invoke uh, attack of opportunity. So I just literally want to go like right one. Oh, right. here. Yeah. And then down one, I think. Oh, what, right. Yeah. Two. I fucking on? completely yeah. forgot my. Death. Yeah. Yeah, fucking, right. yeah. There. Uh, and I'll do my my job I've been given on this ship and fucking activate the dome. All right. <laughs> Fucking healer. Gonna give Duh. us some dome. Let's go. <laughs> Sloppy toppy. Uh, How big is that again? And then What's the radius again? A 30 feet radius, baby. 20, it's 20. fucking it literally massive. Covers, literally covers. Like, where Daigon stands, that's where it stops. So, literally, yep. literally everyone's <laughs> in it. Okay, cool. Everybody's it's... in it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's such... It's so stupid. It's ridiculous, man. <laughs> I love it. All Never right. change. <coughs> uh, can't, wait. Oh, can't wait for Lazarus to start getting targeted because of the dome. <laughs> he already has done previously. It's already happened uh, once, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will then bonus action. Uh, spiritual weapon. Hell yeah. And I will. I'll fucking put it next to me. I'll be selfish with it. Yeah. And I will take. Uh, like here. Yeah. Okay. That is a. 25 to hit. That hits, absolutely. Which one's that? Number six, all right. And it takes uh, 10 points of damage. It's force damage, yeah? Yarp. All right, yeah, beautiful. Get so you, you first Fucking conjure this big fuck off, out. this big fuck off dome of just like, it's kind of like a, like a, like a, like a darker, like purpley yeah. vibe, right? twilight -y, yeah. Yeah, it's twilight, so yeah. Yeah, and I imagine it's that sort of color, yeah. Summon... Joaquin's golden nunchucks, and they start whacking the siren. Uh, and yeah, that's the first first like successful blow of the of the of the fight. Good shit. Uh, alrighty. Um, Anything else? I give myself eight temp HP. There you go. <laughs> that's All right. Turn. Hawthorne has a turn now. He's gonna shoot the one attacking Brooks. Okay. Uh, that's over 15. I need a number. Damn it. <sighs> I, I was like, can I just... Can I we just... believe in you. You can do you just it. Just roll online. Count on your fingers if you have to. No I'm judgment. this woman a kiss. <laughs> okay, like, 20? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> This is like <laughs> oh, I rolled a I rolled a fifteen on the die. Surely I don't have to whip out Hawthorne stats. Yeah. Oh, Oops. I don't want to use his stats, dude. <laughs> Twenty hits though. Okay, cool. That's one piercing damage. Hell yeah. <laughs> and roll a Constitution saving throw. Uh, ooh, hold on a second. Sircon like plus zero eight. Oh, it's poisoned. Okay, it doesn't take poison. Nice. It doesn't take poison damage, but it has the poison status effect, right? Yeah. Okay. All it means is a disadvantage on checks. And Make stuff. that a Norse green color. And attacks. And attacks. Yeah, it's attacks big. It's and big. ability yeah, checks. Yeah, poison is actually pretty big. It's actually kind of wild. Is that Hawthorne's turn? Yep. I just find it funny that they don't take damage. To me, like poisoned implies like pain, like you should be taking, but. Damage, but that's no, ingrained that's in your brain because of Pokemon, because I have the same shit. But just Pokemon and just you know? real life. Dude, like, just think poisoned, of nettles, though. Like, they, they're well, not, like, giving you, like, damage, but they are super fucking annoying. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of things that are poisonous that won't necessarily kill you, but they'll that's weaken true. you, you know? True. All right. Your well, fourth one has six temp HP. Simplifies. Oh, yay! Six temp HP. Any sort of weakness to just be... Hawthorne just gives people paper cuts. That's what he does. Um... It's now the turn of these three sirens, so they. Just little paper cuts. The name of a metal band just somewhere. stabs people with a like a oh sewing pin. Goodness. <laughs> takes a piece of paper and cuts people. Three yeah. sirens. 
This one is going to death by a thousand paper cups. Land Her on top room. of the ship here. And she Let's see. It's a bit each creature that can hear it's within 120 feet. So that's everybody besides those that are in the dome or in that little thing. So that would be Good. That would be Hello. <laughs> Elazrin um... and Brooks. The rest of you guys are good for now. Woo! I yeah, need both of Hi, you to clutch. make charisma saving throws as the side a... starts to sing her absolute heart out. I have a question. Is this a charm effect or putting me to sleep? Uh, neither. Fuck. It's fishing for his advantage. Uh, which <laughs> I have an advantage. Charisma. Charisma. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's a, one. That's a big. So bearing in mind, I've got my of the natural four magic item. Sorry, that's a five. Five. You, you six total. Both. But natural one. Are just lost in this song, and you are considered stunned. Oh shit, that's way worse. Um, yeah. So, you know, have fun with that. Um, which means that the other two sirens oh, I'm not going to deal with no. you for now because you're you know you're good where you're at da, 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 da. this one's going to fly up on top of these stairs it doesn't need to do that and this one's going to land right Surprise next to Jax. that they're all coming onto the ship i feel like they're trying to stay safely away in the water like, you can't hit us here yeah but they can't Hit us either, right? But they can yeah. lure us to them. Uh, yeah, but now we've well, got the whipping winds of. I guess, yeah. And these two are both gonna try and claw attack Jax. Sick, dude. Nah, they like Love old it. men. They That's have a thing cacked. for older men. Sometimes I have to beat the women. Uh, Nineteen to hit on the first one. So okay. Nineteen does not hit. Nineteen does not hit. Okay. Second one is a twenty-one to hit. That one does hit. Okay. Is this the one on the uh, You take 10 points of slashing damage. Ooh. Wouldn't one of them get advantage from the one that's... I would not consider this flanking. Is the other one's not attacking me, Ethan. Like, these these two are attacking, but I would not consider them flanking each other. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's like not like Jack's being point. flanked. It's just... No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. There's one on the other side. Yeah, but that's, that one attacks Kai. That one is me. not in melee with, with Jax, and it's focused on Kai, yeah. Oh no, you're right. I'm stupid. It's, it's because yeah, it's floating. floating. So it the, uh... looks like it's a melee. <sighs> yeah, it's it's Look, a bit man, weird. I'm it's a bit weird. I'm trying to make it work. Hopefully, so it's clear enough. Gun. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> ten points of slashing damage. Soko. Uh, it is Great. your turn now, though. Uh, X. Okay, okay. Now that they came closer, that changes things. <clears throat> um, actually, can I see the crew guy in the water? You can Jesus, make it, like... You can use your bonus action to like uh. make a perception check if you want to. I can see what kind of action that spell requires. Um, yeah, I'll use my bonus action to look for him, I guess. Make a perception check. 30, 20? You look towards where uh, this, like, this like pool of blood is kind of like collecting in the water, and the water around it is very clear, and you, you do see that there is a body like sinking down below. Sinking, you might already dead. It might not be worth it. Uh, Dead bodies right? float. Well, if he's right? dead, Not he initially. can't. When the lungs start to fill, when, when, fill when, I guess he has to fill up with water first. But like, it's it's weird because like bodies sink, and then then, then their float. body begins to like fill with gas and shit because of yeah, the decomposition. If he, that's when yeah, yeah, because he'll have he'll have expelled all of his. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll, I'll save Basically, him. I'll save him. I'm gonna cast yeah, yeah. vortex warp. You gonna do what? Cast Ooh. Vortex Warp. Um, if he's alive, he needs to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> well, if he's, he'll be unconscious, so... Like, whether he's alive or not, if he's not, unconscious. If not, he can't resist. I'm gonna yeah. uh, teleport him to... Ooh. Um, I'll put him... If you put him in the dome... Main... No. Put him by Davian's feet. Right below Davian. 
Hit the roll, Jax. And don't come just back. That, just for the sake of it being yep. Dragonborn, right? Boop. Yeah, you're good. Boop. All right, yeah, so you, you summon this body from the water and it just gets put at uh, Davian's feet. And that'll be my turn. <laughs> okay. Brooks, oh. you are stunned. Uh, Jax, you get, you get uh, seven, 10 HP. Oh. Which means that at the end of each of its turns and each time it takes damage, you can make a charisma save. So, you don't have a turn, but you get to make a charisma saving throw. Let's try and break out of it. I hope the DC is not high, because I'm not great at these. It surprises me, because Brooks portrays to be Should a pretty charismatic guy. Though? Oh, yeah, but he doesn't have proficiency with the saves. Right. So, I'm like, I'm a high charisma. I've got 15, but mm -hmm. my actual roll is a fucking 7. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Guess. Okay, uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Uh, the one I hexed, which was three, I think. Uh, That's the one. Wait, hold on. I wrote it down. It's number two. Oh. Which is the one, yeah, over here by Jax. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Just hit Jax instead. <laughs> Yeah, I would. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um. Okay, the first hit is a 24. That hits. The second hit is a 16. That misses, unfortunately. So the first one hits. Fucking, look at that shit, dude. Great. I fucking love Tailspire. More of that, please. Um, yeah, first one hits. Sick. So you, you fire two Elders Blasts. The first one just <laughs> catches her right in, in the middle of her torso. The second one, she kind of sees it coming because of the, the, the first uh, blast that hit her. And she kind of just does, a, does some fucking flying maneuver. And she kind of like swirls around in midair, dodging it. Uh, roll damage for the first one, though. 11 force damage. Do you want me to give you just one large number? Let me quickly double check. Um, give it separate, please. Okay, so that's seven, no, not seven, 11 force damage. Mm -hmm. uh, three thunder. Okay. And then the hex damage as well is six necrotic. Okay, you get the sense that um, the initial impact, just just the sheer force of of the of, of the elders blast, hurts her the most. The other, like side effects of the elders blast that you cast, a little less so. Okay. Okay, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Kai. Oh, oh, quick thing, I've made a boo boo. Jackson uh, and Brooks, you don't have any temp HP because the dome's fucking gone the second I got stunned. Oh, oh you shitter. It, it counts as being incapacitated. I did not know stunned counts as being incapacitated. It makes sense. Oh. Yeah, stunned is part of that. I thought, yeah. I thought it was oh, paralyzed that did. So, dome's gone, by the way. Dome gone. Oh, shit. So, how was that and uh, cleric, divine inspiration, that channeled divinity, that small yep. piece of your deity got lost to some woman fucking singing? <laughs> Uh, I basically just, I feel like it's just some weird concentration, it's not actually concentration, I just go, wait, what happened? <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck. Have power of a deity. I mean, man's in a fugue I'm state, I don't think you can really channel, I don't think yeah, you can really no, channel can't, the can't, divinity. Can't really, no, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I can't really he's... channel these things, but I'm just there like. Um, Kai, you have one siren just like clawing at the, at like the, the back of your neck, just trying to... Mm -hmm. so I... Pup, 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 pup. I will grab my scimitar, mm -hmm. turn around and smack, and just like, I'm kind of busy, and then try to uh, to to grab the wheel again. Okay. Um, while casting uh, green flame blade, so Ooh. it should flame up, and because it is a normal attack, not ranged, the wind doesn't matter, because it only sets ranged weapon attacks. So, yep. 
I guess I should be 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 good on that. What was the question? Sorry, I was quickly making sure that uh, about yeah, me melee attacks are fine. Yeah, melee attacks are fine. No, that's something that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so. no, you're good. All right, yeah, roll that attack. That is a what much do I add? Four. That's a dirty twenty to hit. That hits. That's good. So that is one of those plus one of those. That is five slashing damage and eight fire damage. Say fire damage? Yeah, it's yep. green flame blade. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to be do less. Better than nothing. Uh, quite the contrary, good sir. Oh. Ooh. Did you notice that as these green flames kind of start spreading around her body, that this creature in particular, not a fan of fire, which strikes you as odd because they live in the water, but the 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 the, the, the like webbed features of her of her wings that sprouted her out of her lower torso seem to be quite flammable as she starts sputtering and, and writhing trying to put the flames out. How much damage was that again? Fire. Uh, eight fire. Eight fire. Okay. Um, she also counts as uh, wounded right now. Okay. Which will come back when she has her start. Okay. Because so, it does. You definitely uh, notice yeah. that uh, they they seem to be vulnerable to fire. Okay. Because the scimitar I'm using has a thing where every turn when I hit it with the weapon, I can wound it, and at the mm -hmm. start. Of each of the wounded creatures' turns, it takes a 1d4 necrotic damage for every time I've wounded them. Okay, so you've wounded them once now, so next yeah. start of their turn, they take 1d4. Then, yeah. Right? So which, uh, yeah, so which yeah. siren is this? So I can. This is siren number four. Number four. Yes. Okay, that's that's huge. All right, um, is that your turn? Uh, oh, you said you turned back to, yeah. to hold the face of the wheel, right? Yeah, so I'm just like. Okay. around smack i'm busy back to the second wheel because that's my I'm job busy. very cool all I'm right let me turn the ship around right now. uh siren number six which is the one, the one like me near a lazarin i mean sees that you're in your Four. fucked state uh is going to turn towards onu why well, oh hold on now mind the no. bud go around him Without leaving his his like melee or whatever, mm -hmm. but now is in melee with Davian and is going to try and claw your throat out. Let's go for it. We'll see. Uh, twenty one hits. Happens. Twenty one hits. Uh, for eleven points of slashing damage. Uh, ons point. And I'm gonna hellish rebuke this son of a Ooh, bitch. Okay. Oh shit. Deck save crit. So. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong spell. <laughs> yes, deck save. Eleven. That's a fail. Hell that's yeah. uh, that's two d10 fire damage incoming. Oh yeah, and we just learned something about fire damage. Okay. That's the twelve. Fire damage, Deuce bois. Like, you Deuce bois. So you fire damage. You just get the swiped across your chest and you just point your finger at the siren as a swirling tornado of flames just starts surround her. You just hear this loud, this loud, like, cackle as when the flames subside. You can still see the siren just writhing in midair, trying to put the flames out. Uh, 12 points of fire damage, you said? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's more than 12, let me tell you. And you also now clock on to the fact that fire seems to hurt them a lot. And that's my turn, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, you could move if you want. I'm coming to. right back at it with a fucking dagger in the ribs. Oh, oh, that's a twenty-one to hit. That hits. And you know, <coughs> you know that I'm imbuing elemental power with a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra juice, a little bit of extra spice. Yeah. So that's gonna be. Wait, what? dagger is that one. One d four plus four, which 
Okay, so that's eight points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. And then... 1d8 fire. Oh, this might... Wait, this might... Hold on. Okay, so that's six points of fire damage. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to need the two sirens to the uh, like north and west to make a dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. It's cacked. Uh, an 11 and a 12. Oh my god. So also two tongues of fire jump out of uh, oh. siren number six to the, uh, to the other two. Okay. And they... And they take seven and four fire damage, respectively. Abby and Eddie are going to solo the fight. Two and five. <laughs> Holy shit. So there's this fucking fire spreading from one side to another, just kind of like bouncing back and forth. All three of them just start fucking... Rah, rah, just fucking and there's kind of a like... Screaming noises. Ethereal, deep echoing laughter in the air as the fire like jumps from one to the other from seemingly beyond our plane as i'm in invoking the power of uh this elemental lord with it with my little stab right in his ribs fuck that guy okay that was that was a huge turn anything else uh yeah so <coughs> can i use my bonus action to rub some uh ointment on the the crewmate at my feet uh, yeah. Yeah, so I would like to use one charge of my restorative ointment on on the stab wound in his chest, I guess, which is, uh, if he's alive, 2d8 plus 2 hit points. Which is a, is 11. If he's if he's not dead, it's 11 hit points you, for him. You kind of just, like, duck down, and, and not very thoroughly, but just try your best uh, with the limited time you have to to rub some ointment on like this big gaping chest wound where where the siren's tail like went into. Um, after a few seconds pass, you do see like his eyes open and he's just like, <gasps> "We saved we him! Saved him. We you saved did. him! You did! Sure All right, did. and that's my turn. Alrighty, uh, Chip." Chip is gonna assist Daigon for Daigon's next attack. Alright, so help action Aww. for Daigon, so Daigon has advantage on Thanks, her next buddy. attack. Yep. Beautiful, alright. Uh, before that happens, Siren 5, which is this lass, sees that Brooks is uh, currently incapacitated. Kind of pissed at Davian for flicking flames towards her, so it's gonna turn around. So Davian's become target number one. Yeah, I mean, Davian fucking... I got, I got my reaction back. <laughs> I got my reaction back. Of them. So, uh, is gonna... gonna instead of with her claws, ready. you can see that she's kind of, like, positioning herself, and her tail just shoots at you. That's a dirty 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, you take 11 points of piercing damage. And I need you to make and a constitution you. saving throw. Oh? Oh, no! That's my con. God. Eight. Eight. You also take four points of poison damage. <clears throat> but I'm not poisoned, it's just, it's just extra poisoned, damage. You just take poison damage, yeah. Alright, well, she better make a deck saving throw right oh, now. Shit, okay. Fuck me, five. Dude, this is great. My <laughs> spell, like, save DC is so bad, but you have failed every deck save, and yeah, that is sure 10 have. points. 10 points of fire Only damage. you could have failed my deck save too, man. That was <laughs> I have a bone to pick with you, Laura, all right? Yeah, Laura. <laughs> no, I was going to say, he's taking it all out sort of the you. dice. Um, yeah, this, this siren immediately regrets her decision to, to, to bother you, as is, again, this swirling vortex of flames just surrounds her and again this is like this this screeching there's this there's this, this, this panic that you can just read off her face once the flames subside she's not having a good time best day ever <laughs> uh star number four which is the one behind kai takes needs to damage takes damage correct 
That's a whopping one necrotic damage. All right, Ooh. one necrotic damage. And um, there is a uh, DC they can do at the end of their turn. Just a constitution saving throw. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. To get rid of the um, wound Bleed. thing. Oh, right. Does that... Uh, what's the weapon called? Is it the Scimitar of Wounding? Yeah. Play whip out so I know exactly what that would entail. Okay. Once per turn, you hear creature... Blah, 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 blah. Each time you've wounded it, and can then make a constitution save any effect and also wounds it. Oh, right. Yeah, no, no. It's just, it takes the damage, and then it gets a chance to roll the constitution save to see yeah. if that's it. Okay, so that just happens. Uh, Let's say 10. Yeah, so no, the wound is still there. So wounded. Alrighty. Tough, it can also choose to use an action to do a medicine check, but they get a free check every time they take damage from it anyway, so... The medicine check is just, I guess, in case of emergency. Um, it is going to also wind up its tail and try and just fucking try and penetrate that thick shell of yours with their pointy, sharp, jagged tail. Okay. Bring it on. That's a natural 19 plus five oh, stone four to hit. Bitch. Sorry. Um. Well, shit damage though. Uh, actually. Oh. oh. I'm gonna. Use my silvery barbs uh, oh. and make her re-roll that. 15 to hit. That misses. Hey. You can see you hey. kind of like you can you have this like sensation of like you know that something's about to go down behind you. And as you look, you can just see the tail going straight for like just above the shell where your neck is, and you're you're, you're convinced that this is it. If this hits you, that that's it. And then you can see Jax just kind of like mumble something and, and vaguely point at the uh, siren and suddenly her tail just goes and darts right over your head, missing. I will just give Jax a little mouse. <clears throat> then I'm going to say to Brooks and be like, Brooks, you got this! Woo! <laughs> and you have advantage on your next saving throw ability check, Can't attack, respond, whatever I'm it is. Stunned. I know. That's why I give it to you. Oh, right. really uh, just, uh, that is siren's the siren's turn. Daigon, you have advantage on your next attack oh, no. because of the help <laughs> I action. I do. Uh, I'm going to go for siren number four behind oh, yeah. Kai. With my physical arms this time. Go for it. Uh, see if those help out any more. Uh, okay. First attack is a uh, 21. It's. I need. Oh yeah, max damage. So ten points of slashing damage on the first. Okay. As I'm like raking her tail with my claws, trying to almost like when you scale a fish, just like oh, remove God. all the scales. From the tail. <laughs> you see some of the scales just gonna like fall off to the to on, onto the deck of the ship, and yep. she's just kind of like <sighs> hisses at you. And it's funny uh, because as she turns her face towards you, she looks normal, oh. and then as she opens her mouth, you can see these these like yeah rows upon rows of of, of like sharp almost like needle like teeth just yeah all right that second attack uh, uh oh uh 25 yeah absolutely one. chip coming in clutch uh for another eight points of slashing as i go with the other arm so it was like a rake and then a rake um on the second one i'm gonna try bonus action stunning strike okay so she needs to make a constitution save it's probably gonna Succeed. Like, she's probably gonna be fine, because my save is not great, but... Yeah, but their con sucks, and I roll a natural four, so that's four. Ah! She's stunned until her ne until the Boom. end of my next turn. Okay. Like, I'm gonna say that that entails own, that just... she does no longer fly. She just, like, falls to the floor and just kind of stands there. Exciting. Okay. Uh, and then bonus action, since she's stunned... Because my, my stunning strike is just I spend a key point. It doesn't use a bonus action. Okay. Or a slot. So my bonus action, I'll do flurry of blows <laughs> since I can tell that the stun took hold. Yeah, you have advantage, right? Because she's stunned as well? Yeah. Well, I mean, I also had advantage. Advantage and auto crit. Yep. She gets... It's an auto crit. Yeah, first attack. Yeah, the, the help action oh, is only for your first so attack. Oh, so there we go. Well, now she's at, now the advantage is from the stun rather than chip. Yeah. All right. Um, That's a 17 to hit. <sighs> That just misses. 
Shit. Oh, okay, second one. I, I, I actually was falling to the ground. I was still expecting her to float. Mm -hmm. Okay, second one's a 21. Yeah, that is. And that's an auto crit because she's stunned. So we do crits where I roll two dice, yeah? Uh, I'm thinking of the crit from... No, we double the dice. No, we just, just double roll, it. Oh, we just double it. Yeah, double, and, sorry. And... My campaign's too. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Double dime. And well. again, I rolled shit. So double. So that's eight. I am considering I am considering implementing your crit rule into our campaign, though. Because that's way yeah. cool. Anyways, I like both, eight honestly. Points. It... Eight points? I yeah. Because I rolled a two. A or is it paralyzed? It's not a crit. Wheat. Paralyzed also a crit. Let me double it's check. just paralyzed. No, because it's stunned. For sure, it's not a crit. And creatures no. incapacitated. Creature can also be fail, sail, fail, strength, and dex, attack crawls. Oh, yeah, no, it's not a crit. So cool okay, oh, then, it, then it's only six points of damage instead of eight because I rolled shit on my crit. Okay, I mean, you know, doesn't make that big of a difference then. Alrighty, this one is starting to look very fucking rough. By the way, this one, it's fucking gashes, bloodied. Yep. It's that's my turn. I'm done. Okay, bitch, be stunned. Definitely only saying that to <laughs> save my own skin because I was like, hope fucking nope, stunts not work, crit. Because I'm fucking uh, stunned. Aladrin, yeah. <laughs> make me a charisma <laughs> save, please. Christmas save? Yeah. Uh, 22. You are no longer stunned. Wait, you do. But that is your turn. Very nice. Uh, it's Hawthorne's turn. It's above Bell. a 6 and below a 22. That's very specific, <laughs> Ethan. That narrows it down. <laughs> narrows it down. Yeah, it means that I've only got a roll. What does Hawthorne okay. do, Bell? I don't know, like 15. Uh, Hawthorne's going to shoot the one I have hexed. Okay. We'll try to do anyway. Means... Nope. Okay. What did you roll? Uh, ten. Nope. Yeah, that's definitely no. Alrighty. Uh, is Hawthorne just gonna stay put? Yep. Okay. Uh, these three sirens. So, uh, we start with this one, the one that put everybody to sleep. Um. I'm trying to think. How smart are they? Hold on. Mm. Okay. He's going to... 5, 10... 20... 25, 30, and then if I can just make it so 10 feet up... Yeah, okay, that will work. So he's going to... Uh, f hover above... Ch like, like, above Chip. Did you account, did you account for uh, difficult strength? Does that, in, does that include flying? Is, uh, yes. I mean, it, it is wind. It, it is wind. Oh, yeah, yeah is surely. Wind. Oh, yeah, never mind that. Uh, in that case, it'll, like, get here, notice that it's kind of hard to get to where she wants to go. Because then she's going to skirt sidle in here and attack Kess. God damn it. Welcome. With her claws. Fuck, uh, dirty 20 to much. hit Kess. Damn it. For, I rolled double ones again, dude. For four points of slashing damage. No, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, bitch. Uh, <laughs> these two sirens are both going to wail on Jax again. Great. Uh, both with a claw attack. Dirty 20 on the first one. Uh, that is my AC. 23 on the second one. Oh, shit. Okay. That is above my AC. <laughs> All right. So you take... Dead. Nice. It's so dark. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> 4, 8, 11, 12, plus 4, 16 points of slashing damage. From both? Yeah, that's total. Yeah. And that is that turn. Jax! Alright. Uh, I was kind of hoping they'd all be dead by now. Um. No. Spells. I'm going to play a non-spellcaster next campaign. Um. L literally me at the start of this one. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a fucking warlock ranger, which is two halves. That's way worse. <laughs> I couldn't get. I couldn't handle it. Um, I am going to. Uh, who has metal weapons in our party, by the way? Who has Curiosity? what? Metal weapons. Uh, I Everyone, think my surely? spear is like mm -hmm. the the point of my spear is probably metal. I if have the a handle daggers. I have the knuckles and daggers and hand axes and that a whole ass fucking okay, blacksmith worth. Because okay. Um, Davin, you have your short sword out right now, right? Uh, dagger, but yeah. Dagger. Okay, wait. How far can I cast? Oh, it's 60 feet. Perfect. 
I a plus am going one dagger, to, so it's pretty punk. I am going to reach out my hand towards Davian's dagger. And a little, like, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck it is. Um, I can't think of the word. The but uh, I'm going to yell at Davian and be like, and, and burn them. Oh. Sure. And uh, his dagger starts glowing red hot. Oh, I can do that, metal. dude. Oh, heat metal? Okay, cool. So now, when you attack with it, they take an extra 2d8 fire damage. 2d8? Oh my god. You can see the blade of your dagger just, Holy. like, not even glowing like red-orange, but just white because of how Woo. intensely hot this blade now is. You can Woo. feel, you're holding it in like, in like the handle, you can feel, you can feel that it's, it's piping, searing hot. It's heating up. All right. It's heating up. It's heating up, uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to. Oh wait, I can't cast two spells in the same turn. I'm fucking dumb. Just if kidding. One's a cantrip. If one's a cantrip, you can. It's not a cantrip. Okay. <laughs> F. I'm gonna use my defensive field on my armor. Okay. Give myself five temporary hit points. Fair enough. All right, is that your turn? That's my. That that is my turn. Brooks, charisma saving throw with advantage because of uh, the silvery bob. <laughs> Dirty 20? That's enough, you no oh, longer stand. 21. You no longer stand. Thank God for that. That was a fucking 18. Uh, that is the end uh, of your turn, though. End of my turn, though. Yep. Guess. Maybe you're not stunned. Hey, I'm gonna fire Eldritch Blasts at the one I hexed. Okay. Ooh. Okay, good. Twenty-four. Yes. And uh, nineteen. Nineteen misses. No, wait. I'm lying. I'm lying. I was. I was confusing them. Nineteen hits. Never mind. Stupid. <laughs> I was gonna say. Wait. Hold up. They no, got an no, AC buff. Wait, Holy shit. No, no, no. no I, I fucked up. Nineteen hits. One of them. So both of them hit. Gun. Okay. The longer cool. they're alive, the longer they get. They get more AC, bro. Hit him with the fucking. Pew, you know. Okay. That is. So... Please do that again. Thirteen force damage. <laughs> Okay. Three thunder. Thirteen force. Hold on, I need to do math. Yes. Six necrotic. Okay. And then uh, ten force damage. And three necrotic. Okay, this one is starting to look again. You know, you get you. You definitely can tell that the impact of the Elders Blast hurts her way more than any of the other like side effects that your Elders Blasts mm. have, uh, including yeah. the Hex. But uh, regardless of that, she is starting to look very bloodied, very rough. Excellent. <coughs> Say turn. Yep. Okay. Kai, you have a stunned uh, uh, Siren yeah. right behind you. I'm just gonna. Do the same old uh, green, blade, uh, green flame blade. Oh yeah. With the thingy. Oh, you have advantage is... because it's a melee attack, right? And she's stunned, so. Uh, that's twenty-three to hit. Yes, absolutely. I reckon that hits. Yeah. That is two slashing. Okay. And another eight fire. As you uh, just take your scimitar and just swipe her, you can, you can just you cleave her entire body just like diagonally in half. And instead of blood just kind of like splattering everywhere, immediately the like flames from your blade just cauterize the wound. So there's it just it's immediately just and it slumps and it's it's fucking dead. I told you I was busy. Fucking boop, dead. Uh question because of the the whole wind i have around and deafening stuff yes would healing word still work because it's a vocal component as long as the spell doesn't yeah they say, don't need to hear as long as they don't need, they don't to, need to, to if the spell doesn't specify they need to hear you you're fine wait <laughs> just, i just realized something you can what? see it doesn't say they have to hear you i can't fucking hear jacks i've got my back to him my dagger just started oh, yeah, heating it up. It just started to fucking what? glow, yeah. 100% of the association I'm going to make here is that... Fireman did it. 
Yeah, yeah. it's Kozuth and not Jax at all. So. <laughs> yeah, that's I am a, I am in a way god, though. So. Um, I, I will... Was yeah, I guess I will just, while I'm turning back to the to the wheel, do bonus action, uh, healing word to Jax. Okay. How much do you heal him for? Then heal for... <laughs> Spell casting this for or seven points. Okay, seven points of healing for Jax. And then and then go back to uh, doing my business and. Uh, oh yeah. Make sure we are we we keep keep on going. Okay, Siren uh, number six is the one in melee with Davian, uh, who is also looking very fucked up, by the way, uh, but does somehow still have enough energy in her to just jut her tail at you one more time. Uh, 14 to hit, Davian. No, actually does not hit. It would have a couple sessions ago. <laughs> Man's got nice. new armor. True. So you you can see that you can see her like kind of winding it up again, like she did last time, and you manage to you duck down, and the tail just <laughs> swipes just just like just over your head. And that's her turn, and it is now your turn. So. So okay, um, if I take a little look around the three around me, who's looking the the worst? Was looking the worst, but it's number one, five, and six. Uh, the one that just swiped her tail at you. Okay. Um, I feel like I should hit a different one then because I'll probably mad overkill. It. Can I gain any benefit from flanking with with Brooks here, or am I too? Uh, I'd say that you you'll get flanking. Uh. uh yeah, I'll say that you'll get flanking on both the top two because of the way they're positioned. I'll, I'll, I'll allow you. All to right, I'll, I'll, I'm here. gonna, I'm gonna try stab the center. Oh, and just for your information, uh, this one is also poisoned. Okay. So I don't know if that changes your your decision making at all, but uh, you can see that she's not looking too good. Wait, wait. Okay, hold on. It doesn't necessarily like benefit you attack roll wise or anything, but I don't know. Maybe that would no. That, maybe that would change Davian's. I'm just thinking. Hold on, the the one on the stairs is also within ten feet, so this is, might get messy. Yes. Uh, but yes, I'm gonna stab the. I'm gonna I'm gonna stab the one you have selected right now. Okay. <laughs> oh no, they're both really terrible. Uh oh, thirteen to hit. Fuck misses. You have another attack now. Oh wait, no, you might not because nope. of your multi class. Uh. Rip. Yeah. Um, Damn. If I, I like, I could. I no, I don't have my short sword out, so I can't even two weapon fighting it. Yeah. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Onu's gonna attack that the the one that attacked me, and I get he's flanking something, right? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 we'll, 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 we'll say that she's occupied with you oh! and does not see the big bird coming at her in the back. Natural 20. Oh! Oh! So, oh, Onu, Onu's gonna hit with that 1d4. Hey, man. Onu's pog. Might be enough, dude. You know. <clears throat> Should cast heat metal on Onu. <clears throat> um, so that's 4 plus 3. So 10 points of damage ten from points? Onu. Yeah. She had 10 hit points left. Exact lethal. So Let's exact fucking go. Exact lethal. As Owen just comes from behind and just demolishes this siren and just kind of like looks at you. And you can see it like the way he's looking at you. He's he's like... He's feeling triumphant. You know? He's, he's, he's proud of that one. Um, he's now going to... Uh, he's he's going to fly up 20 feet. And then towards uh, Jax. Uh, sorry, Brooks. 20 feet would be like fucking like here. Yeah, it's four tiles, I guess. Yeah. And fly towards Brooks. Damn, you can't even fucking see the motherfucker. <laughs> but he's there. <laughs> I'm gonna get shit on the moment. <clears throat> Alright, yep. Yeah. Uh, that'll be. Uh, wait, who's, who's right behind me? Wait, who is that? Kes. Me. Oh, right. That's Kes. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, what's Chip going to do? Uh, Duke, I might need you oh. to make a save. Hold on. Oh. I've just been reminding me of something. And uh, I might have fucked you, actually. Uh, Love oh, that. Melt your hand off. Oh, I did. 
I did partially fuck you. You need to make a uh, uh, constitution saving throw real quick for me. Oh no. Mike is like in contact with his heat metal. Is it really? Is it like? Is that the thing that's in contact with heat metal? Don't you either take damage or do like a con save or drop it? Because it's like fucking. Yeah, it's like it's a double edged sword. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I just thought, oh, it's a fire spell that I actually have prepared. Let's go. Eight. Eight. Eight? Yeah, you drop your dagger. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the fucking hot dagger. I'm angry at you, bye, guy. I Thanks, like, Soko. Thanks, man. <laughs> All like, right. It, I was like, I swear, like, heat metal was like, I swear it's in contact with and not just like, oh, the tip. It's like, the whole thing is hot, right? And I was like, yeah. Oh, fair enough. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, Sometimes quite well, all the so, in theory, if you'd use it yeah. on. That's what I said. If you'd use it on Daigon, I mean, she's using a spear that has a wooden. It, it says object. Right? In contact with the object. object. So yeah, that's what I was looking at. Because that's what I was thinking. I was like, "Oh, your handle wouldn't be metal, so you'd probably be fine." Well, the the but... the what's it called? The yeah, the thing of the dagger still goes into the handle, so like that yeah. makes sense. Whereas the, the spear, yeah, like yeah, you've got a whole just, yeah, it's just where the, the tang like, the whole object yeah. itself. Yeah, the tang goes into the, the handle. Problem. And rules is written. Can, now now you can um... leave your you can leave your knife in someone and then or like spear in someone and then heat metal it. That counts. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, 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 let's focus up. Um, oh, gee, what's Chip doing? Uh, Chip is flying right next to Jax, and we'll give advantage on Jax's next attack. All right. I don't think I've attacked this whole time. <laughs> that well, siren number you better five do it now. <laughs> is where the fuck is so siren number five? Blind. Ed? Ed? Why is she? St no. Oh, that's this one. It's the poison one. Just oh. couldn't see the fucking thing. Uh, is going to. I'm gonna roll to see who she's gonna attack. Hold on. Not me, you smile. I'm still oh. stunned. I'm gonna turn to Brooks. It notices Shit. that you're no longer stunned and is going to uh, try and jut her tail in your general direction. Slice and dice. Natural 20. Oh god. I'm not raging. Oh, oh and I rolled max damage. Welcome, welcome to raging. normal people. 29 points of piercing damage. I'm bloodied. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay, Shit. this one I'm actually okay at. Uh, 21. 21? Okay. That's it, though. You don't take any poison damage, but that... that, that. that her tail just, like, shoots towards your, your, your lower stomach, and it tears it up. You, you definitely... There's just there's a large just wound... In your lower stomach area, you and you you don't feel great. <laughs> All right, uh, Dagon. Uh, I want <laughs> to move to the the side to the right of the siren that's on this top little deck with us. That's near Jax. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna hit her <laughs> as I do with my regular arms. Um, two minutes. How injured does this one look? This one Looking very rough. Very rough? Okay. Yeah. Um, then we're gonna go for just like straight, like hooks to her head and try okay. and see if we can just deal some final blows here. Nope. Fuck. First hit is a 14. Misses. Uh, nope. Second attack is an 18. Just hits. Hey. Uh, eight points of slashing damage. You or bludgeoning, go, bludgeoning damage. You, you, like close fist. You wind up like two punches. So the first, the first jab, she kind of like ducks under. But because she ducks yeah. her head towards you, you just line up an uppercut with the other, with the other, uh, with the other arm, and just you can hear her jaw just <laughs> snap, and then her head just tilts backwards a little too far, and you can hear her neck also just, <laughs> <laughs> and she just slumps Hell to yeah. the ground. Hell yeah. Alright. Three um, down, three how, down. How's the other one on the stairs look? The other one on the stairs? Untouched. Untouched. Okay. Untouched. Um, I will move one square further forward in front of her because I still have movement um, left, I believe. You took... Uh, it took 20 feet to get there, but because of the wind, oh. it took 40 oh, okay. because of the difficult terrain. So you're, you're out then, of movement. Then I'll chill there. I will spend a key point, though, to do patient defense. Okay. In case she hits me, because she right in front of me, kind of. 
All right, see, all right, see. That's my turn. Elazrim. Uh, I will bonus action move my spiritual weapon up next to the one that's poisoned. Uh, you want it to be next to Davian or next, like next to her, next to her. Like oh, next, like there, right there. Next to her, next to her. And I will swing with it. That's gonna miss. It's an eleven. That misses indeed. And then I am going to cast at third level. I'm gonna do a guiding bolt on the one that hasn't been hit yet. The one on the stairs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, that is a... Oh, my fuck is my fucking plus to hit? Where is it? Uh, that is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. Cool. It takes 66 damage. 66? <laughs> yeah, 66. Yeah, no. Uh... <laughs> That's a lot of damage. A lot of damage, guys. That's a lot of damage. What all sixes you want? Uh, I didn't Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> That's five, well, no? 20. Another six. He doesn't roll three sixes. Shut the fuck up, I'm trying to do math. Fuck you. <laughs> math. Stupid. Yeah, math, seven plus two. Uh, 26 points of damage. Hey man, that's Ooh. above average, so... That was. Yeah. Good shit, yeah, you just... This guiding bolts... <laughs> flies damage. towards her and, and... Completely engulfs her in this, in this, like... Holy, like, divine energy. As you can hear her start to screech, and even when when the, the the bright light subsides, there's still this little shiny hue about her, giving whoever hits her with is it a melee attack or just an attack? Any uh, the next attack, attack. roll. So the next attack next roll attack. against this particular siren will have advantage because of it. Siren is it number? The one on the staircase. The one on the stairs. Three. Cool, dope. Not one, not two, not four, but three. Mm -hmm. Anything else, um, good sir? Would you like to move? Uh, no, I'm fucking staying where the fuck I am. All right, fair I ain't getting involved in that shit. All right, Hawthorne. Uh, he's gonna shoot at the one that attacked me. Okay, just number one. Oh, that might that hits actually. Uh, uh. Uh, you're gonna 22. have this, you're gonna have this advantage though. Oh shit! Dirty twenty. Okay, that still hits. Never mind. Yay. <laughs> One piercing damage and con save. They're not very. Roll oh, uh, that's a two. Ooh. Ah, oh, does that mean she falls asleep? Oh, asleep. Shit. Let's go. Oh. oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yay! Sleep. Sleepy time. Just flying. Just just fucking. <laughs> yeah, so that one is is uh, sleeping. Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, that's it. It's fucking funny because it's now also her turn. How does it? How does that work? Does, does she get a save at all, or is she just asleep? Um. What's what's Hawthorne's uh, creature called? Like, what's the stat block you're using? It's um the tiny fae sprite. Um, uh, she's unconscious for a minute until she takes damage or is shaken awake. Okay. So no turn for Damn. her. So yeah, she's just fucked. Okay, cool. Uh, boom. No one hit her. Siren on the staircase. The <laughs> oh, this whore. Is gonna stay where she is and just go for another tail jab at Jax. She can hit Hawthorne instead. <laughs> no. Hawthorne, this tiny little fucking sprite. She doesn't give a, <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. But Hawthorne put her friend to sleep. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, she doesn't want to hit me. Uh, I mean, she's not going to with a 14 to hit. Oh, sick. Okay. Uh, and it is now your turn, strong. Jax. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Question is, do I do the smart thing or the dumb thing? It's a very oh, fine line. Um... Um... <laughs> uh, he forgot those on the land. And then the uh... You also have advantage on your first Yeah, alright, alright. I got advantage. Actually, I'd have advantage anyways, I think, from Guiding Bolt. Well, you have advantage regardless of who you hit, so don't hit the one with Guiding Bolt. Also true. What? But I can only reach one. Yeah, also you can only true. hit the Guiding you Bolt. You have a gun! You do have a gun. <laughs> but you then she can... You, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna shoot my pepper box at the bitch that's poisoned. Go on. Right? Go on. And then I'm gonna punch <laughs> the other one in the face. 
okay. take advantage of I both attacks. I don't have any range. Okay, go on. I fire my flintlock at the second. It misses because it's smooth that's ball and kills the neighbor's dog. I hit the one that's poisoned with my Roll pistol. The at the top of the what stairs? is your roll? My pistol, that's an 18. That just hits. Damn straight it does. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> What is this you voice? Can... What is happening? Who in, who in Calvin? You can take Naronk out of the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you will not think about the moment Damn, you brought Damn straight it does. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that shit? We're not turning him and shoot him. <laughs> uh, go on. What's your damage? Seven points of piercing damage. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize Jax was the rudest, rudest cowboy out there. <laughs> Fucking hell. The He's gonna challenge the wrong to a fucking. I have a right to bear <laughs> oh fuck! All right, yeah. So you take out your pepper box that you bought uh, very recently. <laughs> take aim and just, and this echoing just explosion as the bullet just whizzes towards her, kind of like gashes the back of her neck, and she just as she looks at you immediately just makes direct eye contact. Um. Yeah, I think I lost my dice. All right, I'm gonna roll on the uh, table. Uh, mm. Jack's the type of person to hold his gun sideways. <laughs> uh, I rolled a 27 to hit my gauntlets. To punch uh, the one that's guiding bolted? Yeah, to punch the other one, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I can roll for an extra 20. Hold on. Oh. No. Oh. Although that is max damage. Go 13 on. points of... Oh, it's thunder, though. She's going to resist it. Sad. Uh, it's worse. Yeah. You oh. punch her. You can see the thunder. She's not immune, is she? She is. She is. Son of a bit. So, and, and, and she just kind of like takes it. And you can see the energy, the impact of the fist just like doesn't phase her at all. And she just looks at you and just mean mugging you. I'm gonna cry, dude. They're right. immune to thunder damage, it would seem. Uh, that's, that's my turn. All right. Brooks, you have a turn, man. Yeah. <gasps> Get to play the game? Yeah, dude. Oh, nice. Rolls okay, uh, I'm angry at the world, the DM, and these sons of bitches, so I'm gonna rage. What the fuck did I do? Okay. <laughs> what did I do? You stunned first combat back. Dude, don't take I IC into turn. OOC, bro. That's cringe. <laughs> I didn't dude, do dude. shit. The siren hunt. GTA RP all over again, bro. <laughs> You're mad gaming, I'm bro. fucking raging. I'm gonna yeah. smack a poisoned bitch in front of me. Oh. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna smack a poison bitch in front of me. This poison bitch in front of me tried to fuck, did fucking successfully spear me through the fucking stomach. Yeah, that did happen. So I'm gonna grab that bitch's tail and oh. drag her to the fucking ground. Uh -huh. I'm gonna grapple the bitch. Okay. I'm gonna throw it back into the ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it back on her. <laughs> uh, that's natural so, twenty. Same. What? So I get 31. <laughs> All right, fuck I get it. advantage because yeah, I'm raging. It. Fuck it, you take it then. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. She... I'm fucking raging, baby. I get advantage. She just... The 31. To the ground. And you have her grappled. Anything else? <clears throat> As a free action, I spit in her face. Okay. It's my turn. Well, I just Catch it. In. Okay, I'm going to let Hex drop. And instead, cast a uh, shadow blade, cool. and cool, cool, um, cool, cool. hit the one on the ground. Uh, is that it's a melee attack? attack? <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you get advantage because she's she, she, she sleep isn't conscious, no? And I'm prone. Yeah. Hold she's on. I think. Let me quickly. I think that's unconscious a until she takes damage, which she's about to. Unconscious it gives. Is, is that an auto crit? Because she's unconscious? I think so. I believe uh, so, conditions, yeah. Conditions, uh, uh, unconscious. I thought I should. Any type that hits creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of the creature. Which you are. So yeah, there you go. Hell uh, uh, yeah. So that's an auto crit if you... What did you roll to hit? Oh. Rolls with advantage, yeah. With advantage, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, over 19. Yeah, that hits. So, just <laughs> So auto crit, so yeah, just roll damage and uh, double, double the... The, the double, double the rolled number, not okay. the bonuses. This is gonna be a big number. <laughs> Seven. Thirteen. 
30 damage. 30? Psychic. Psychic, <laughs> Psychic damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that does wake. I would say that wakes her up, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's awake Any now. damage wakes so her up. So this, you you summon your shadow blade and just drive it into her into her guts, oh. and kind of like just being an extra like big bitch, just kind of like stirring it around a little bit, just like. Argh. And her eyes just open, and immediately you can you can feel her tail like flapping about on on the on the deck of the ship. Her wings are starting to just like flutter a little bit, and she's just oh, she's hurting a lot. Uh, it's 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 an action to like draw a different weapon, isn't it? Like if I were to dra draw a dagger, it's an, uh, you can. My other offhand. Uh, no, you can drop a weapon to the floor, just like dropping it and quickly mm. yanking one out. You can do that. Uh, it's an a it's a full action to like properly stow away a weapon and then ripping out. Okay. Another weapon. So if you want to like bonus action, uh, what's it called? Dual weapon fighting. I'll allow you to quickly whip out a dagger and with your offhand, fucking do it again. Oh hell yeah! Because shadow blade is technically a melee attack, right? So I'll, I'll allow that. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're just manifesting this blade in your hand, so I'll allow you to do to use dual weapon fighting with that, even if manifest. the rules, even Girl if the rules say differently. <laughs> and it's it's just a straight roll this time, right? Or is it advantage because she's on the floor? Uh, she's prone, so I. Th I think that's still advantage, right? I'm pretty sure. Hold no. on, I have the page open. Prone. Prone. If you're within five feet, yeah. So yeah, that's also with advantage. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, that is uh, 25. Hits. Max damage of eight. Max damage of eight? Yeah. Uh, okay. She's looking so incredibly rough. It's 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 nutty. You've never seen someone be so close to death. <laughs> He's on half a hit point confirmed. <laughs> Literal one hit point. Uh, is that your turn, Kes? Yes. Okay. That's it. Kai. Still holding it, holding it down at the wheel. Still going strong. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of fucked myself a bit with the wind. For some other things I want to do, so yeah. I'm just gonna do some foreign whip. I mean, you you can always decide to drop the spell. That is, you can you can you can just nah, drop it. Nah, I like it. I like it. Okay, fair enough. It's nice and quiet. It's, yeah, it's peaceful. No, no screaming people. Just everything is silent. As, as, no going on. as Kai's hat constantly like almost flies off his head. Yeah, it's peaceful. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's like bobbling around on his head because <laughs> of the fucking wind. It sounds like he's on the inside of a dice. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's quiet. I just realized I just see I, I just see people dying without sound. It's yeah, it's nice. yeah, you're you hear nothing. Like a silent film. <laughs> I'm enjoying life. Uh, I'm uh, casting four and a whip at the. Let's do the one, one that is. Right in front of Brooks, the one that's the furthest away from me. What's the range on the Uh, 30 feet. Yeah, yeah, you can, absolutely. So that should be able to, right? Number five, yes, absolutely. Yep, and it is a spell attack, so it can do that. That is a 14 plus 7, that's 21. Hits. To hit. Yes, sir. And because it was 2d6, that's... One plus three is four damage. This kind of damage. Four piercing damage. Four piercing damage, all right. And they are large or smaller, right? Yeah, they're medium sized. Yeah, so I yoinked them ten feet closer to me. Um you would have been able to, but she's also being grappled by Brooks. So Brooks has already had ah. has her like in a headlock. Got this oh, yeah. by the tail. Can I not yeah yank them both? <laughs> 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 I mean, yes, but where do we go? Yeah, that's flying. <laughs> there's not like if you look at it, like there's there's like all there's no unoccupied space closer to you than if that. If it makes space. things easier, little yonk. Okay, that she's stuck. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah, there's just no free spaces <laughs> yeah. between you and her at this point because there's this cast, there's Davian, there's there's this one on the Dangler floor. Dangler from like that. A lot of shit going on. So, so a lot of shit going on the the top deck of the ship right now. <laughs> Uh, no, just uh, just a little form with then and then a little bit of damage, and that's it. Okay, okay. Davian. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> so my dagger on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it still hot? No, I dropped concentration on that. Oh, damn, I was hoping I could like 
yeah, like throw it at someone and fucking just explode the ball. <laughs> but it takes an action um, to pick it up now. So. Take an action? Yeah, for sure. What if I make picking it up and throwing it once smooth motion? Or picking it up and thrusting it into the gut of the man directly in front of me. Um, okay. Like, just like walking uh, through, just kicking it in that direction, hoping for the best. Uh, yeah, Same. right? <laughs> no, leave the guy on the floor alone and let Hawthorne have a kill. <laughs> okay. Oh. I just well, had a really fucked up idea mm -hmm. that, that will probably lead to this whole subclass being reworked. Oh, no. But, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Eldritch Blast the one on the stairs and the one in front of Brooks. Okay. Oh no. It's number three and five. If these both hit, this is gonna be. I think I know what you're trying to a do. A disaster. I think I have an idea of what's about to go down. Because I've got two charges left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, only one hits. Uh, it's a an 18 to hit. Um, and we'll say it's the one on the stairs. The other one is a 10. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the one on the stairs. Does in fact get hit. So you you simultaneously fire two Eldritch blasts. One just kind of like Ow. flies over the head of the siren uh, in front of Brooks. The other one direct hits with uh, the siren on the staircase. Uh, how much damage? We're about to find out because it's mm -hmm. a D10 and a D8. D8. Because I am using imbue elemental power. Oh yeah. So D10 force damage, D8 fire damage. Uh, so. Seven points of force damage. Okay. Eight points of fire damage. Oh my god, all right. And then the other two also need to make dex saving throws. Natural one and an 11. Oh my, god. my save DC is like 13, bro. Today's your day, bro. Yeah, <laughs> one takes six. We'll say the one on the floor takes four points and the one points of fire damage. How much? Do oh, you Kill. One on the floor is four, the one standing up is six. <laughs> so you... Okay. So to help you visualize this, right? Elvis mm. blasts the one on the staircase. She just, like, starts mm -hmm. writhing and screaming. These, like, fire... like These, like, fiery offshoots launch from her to the other two sirens that are left. They both just catch fire immediately and just start screaming uh -oh. until there's nothing left but two charred sets of remains of these two. The only Dang. one left like the, one, quail? the only one left it's is like green the green flame blade on crack, dude. On the stairwell. Also looking extremely fucked. <laughs> Hell yeah. So Brooks, you just you just noticed no. you, you, oh. you had her in a fucking headlock and you just noticed her entire body like starts to engulf Rumble. in flame and you just like ooh just drop her and <laughs> she's And yeah, then from charred. twenty you feet in the air <laughs> from twenty <laughs> feet in the air from comes the a rock. fucking shoe bill uh, to fucking swoop down and clap the other bitch, uh, Black. who's on the stairs. Um, We're downtown. I guess if you can fly, he can flank with Jax for the, yeah, for the sure. advantage, just to be yeah, extra. Alright. Yeah, because he'll be flying over the, the water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I rolled like shit, so it does not matter, because it's a 12. It's not so it unfortunately. No, yeah. I would point he'll then... Yeah, right. Fly back out of range. Angle. Gotta get the angles, bro. I gotta make sure, you know. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Chip. Um. It will fly. Uh, to the space right left of Diagon and then one further back, so over the water. So here. Oh. Here. Right. Yep. And then it will do a help action again uh, for another uh, advantage on my uh, on an attack. Uh. Honey, oh. uh, where did the ship oh. go? We are okay, in. We're good. We are in the water. Okay. Honey, okay. Well, we are the water. Yeah, I shrunk the ship. What is happening? <laughs> I shrunk the ship. <laughs> all right. Can I please zoom in without the ship freaking out? Okay. Cool. We're back. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so Diagon has advantage on her first next attack. Woo! Uh, and it is now your turn, Daigon, so you want to just immediately cash Let's that go in? Go <laughs> for it. Um, I'm gonna try and go for Broke here, seeing she's rough and we've been fist fighting the whole time. Gonna, um, because I was in patient defense before, mm -hmm. like, uh, I'm gonna move up, but still almost in a defensive pose, but then with the spectral arms, like, while my other arms are, like, <laughs> guarding my face, the spectral arm's gonna reach for my spear oh. and hit the button. Uh, no, they don't need to hit the button, because we're close. 
um, and pull it out and try and jam it in her stomach the way one of them speared Brooks in the stomach. Oh shit! Early. All right, yeah, roll your attack. Yeah. With advantage because of uh, yeah. the help of uh... twenty three. Thank you for advantage. Yeah, I that'll it. hit. I needed it. What's the minimum damage on that? Six. No. Yeah, six. Yeah. How do you want to kill her? How do you want to finish her? Uh, like I said, hey. the spear through. So while again, while the physical arms never break a perfect guard, the spectral arms and all four of the spectral arms for extra force just take it and shove the spear so it completely comes out her other side killer beautiful and with that all these sirens have been defeated uh you notice that the um the crewmates that just i i got teleported out of the ocean back and onto the top deck of the ship is breathing but is that has passed out since being being yeah. brought back from the from the edge of, of death uh captain vera storms out of her cabin because Again, D and D combat. This fight did not last that, that long. So she, like, heard commotion. It lasted like twenty out seconds. Out of the door, out of doors, sees just like a group of dead sirens on the ship, and her like gravely wounded, or no longer gravely, but still wounded. He's crewmates. pretty wounded. Yeah. He's pretty fucked. What the fuck is going on? I'm just gonna do a quick look around and make sure nothing is on fire because. Uh... No, and she you, says, you what's going this. on? I literally just, like, pick up before my arms fade. I have just no strength. Like, I almost, like, lift it off the ground on the spear and, like, swing it in her direction just to show, like, technically this is you what's wouldn't, going on. Technically, you wouldn't hear her. So I drop the spell oh, first. True. Oh, When she comes true. out. <laughs> she, she, all we hear is... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Also, Dutch, as soon as it's clear the fight's over, can mm -hmm. I go pick up some of the scales from my... When I was, like, scaling their tails, can I go pick up some off the ground? Roll d10. It's so disturbing. <laughs> I can take. Trophies. I rolled seven. You'll find seven intact siren scales. Woo! I'm gonna take one of them and add it to the string of trophies that is wrapped around the spear that I got the final kill with. This is gonna get fucking... so disturbing. That my spear looks real creepy. <laughs> it's gonna fucking reek soon as well. Like that shit is. Well, no, like... there's mostly there's only like scales and teeth on there. I didn't put any like flesh or anything. So on oh, it doesn't I... matter. Have you have you ever just picked up a seashell? Vera after, like, kind wings? of like looks around yeah. and and just immediately snaps back into like captain mode and just. Toss the corpses in the water, bring him down below. First Mate Lazarin, make sure that he's patched up, please. Will do. Back to your stations. I will sort of call out. Anyone else injured who needs a bit of healing? Come down. Me. Fucking yes! <laughs> and I will, I, I, it's that look around of I'm perfectly fine intact, not been hit, and just see everyone else fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> right. She's got like a scratch on her arm. <laughs> yeah, but it's still just like, I'm fine. Oh, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will do a Lazarin. Alright. I, I will, will take healing too. Oh my fucking god, you needy bastards. All right. uh, <laughs> That's me. Half of my stomach's hanging out. That is yeah, true. exactly. That's true. Uh, That's where it belongs. <laughs> so, uh, Brooks will get a level Outside 2 kill. Outside the body. It's Brooks okay, right? get a level 2 a level kill wound. Two. Okay. Uh, so you get... You, you get 16 here? points of healing. Oh, I'm yeah. fine. Oh, what the uh, to point. Brooks. Uh, the guy who is fucking... Mm -hmm. Like dead will also get a level two. So the, the uh, dragonborn gets, cute crewmates that got yeah. fished out of the water. Okay, he gets thirteen points of healing. All right, he uh Fucking... no, longer, no longer looks bloody. Uh, Kess Still gets cold, but Kess gets uh ten points. That is more than I needed. <laughs> uh, Davian gets eight. Are you still looking quite hurt? Devin. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Eight. No longer bloodied. I'm no longer bloodied, technically. I will... But you're still looking a little rough, so I will I'm give... Hurting, yeah. I'll give you another... Well, it's max, so that is... Uh, 13. Ooh! Yeah, that's, uh, that's I will good. give Brooks another... <laughs> 10. <coughs> yeah. Not horrific. I, I also cast two cure wounds on myself, by the way, Dutch. Just so let you know. Oh, yeah, that's fine. All right, and then I kind of look around, and make sure no one else is injured, and I don't think. Fuck As that. it seems that uh, that all the wounded have been accounted for, uh, a couple of crewmates come up to escort the still on a, the still like just passed out crewmates to the lower deck to just put them in like a bed or like one of the ha hammocks to kind of 
you know, was rest. Was it a crewmate that we know, or just one of the Nah, literal, like, bitches. disposable crewmate number five. Uh, nobody significant. <laughs> okay. Nobody, nobody with, like, an important station that would need any taken over. I will, um, them. I'll still take care of him, um, <laughs> and I'll, like, just sort of be, you know, I waste a good hands. spell on him. <laughs> any bandages, any bandages and shit on him and stuff like that, just sort of be there. Like, Loyal to your spells. Is. All right. Me and Lazarin. I'll just do my job. throw people into the throw bodies into the water and then just scurry back up to the uh, crow's nest. Right. As you as you right. climb back I up to the crow's nest, you do still see that storm in the distance that you're heading straight towards. Oh shit! Yeah. Uh, and again, you reckon that when when the evening falls, that's when you estimate the storm will be uh, close enough to your ship to become an issue. Um, yeah. has, has Davian told us all about the storm yet? I'm pretty sure he communicated. He like he communicated it last session. Yeah, before we. I'm pretty sure before the sirens attack, like last session when yeah. I spotted it, I made it. Pretty uh, sure I made it clear. I'm just gonna go around and have a look and see if there's anything I can shore up at all. Anything you can do what? Sorry. Like like it's anything or... I can shore up that I can reinforce that looks like it'll get fucked by a storm. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, that is fucking funny. You say that because batten down the hatches. Uh. Yeah. A little time goes by after, you know, you dispose of the bodies and Vera would have come out and uh, basically commanded a group of uh, crewmates, including yourself, uh, <clears throat> to to reinforce the ship, to make sure that we to, that the storm like doesn't like start swinging things. Um, so you can spend a few hours making sure that everything that could potentially start flying about the deck is reinforced. Um, make a... Fuck. Make a survival check. Fuck it. Not good at those. I'm sure it couldn't be a dexterity. Shh, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Let's do dex. Let's do dex. <laughs> I mean, it's a natural 16, so. Okay. It's either. Uh, um, it's you're very convinced that. Uh, because obviously you divide and conquer. Uh, but you kind of like I look at the things that you've reinforced and you're, you're, there's no way in hell that any of that is coming loose uh, with that said unless there's anything you guys want to do throughout the afternoon before the storm comes let it be known now just tinkering I'm um, literally just going to be below deck alright I... short rest probably yeah absolutely you can I would like a short rest if possible and then at some point I would find Kess and just tell her, it need to be like, unless Kess wants to do an RP conversation, but I just let her know that I told Vera about the the Weaver and to pass that on to higher ups. And that she says of the crew members, Richard and Drac know a little sign language. So if we're ever trying to have secret conversations, we need to make sure they're not around or in eye shot. Uh, Kess is above uh, like on the top deck for as long as possible until she's forced to go down. Okay, dokie. Um, so I will going, probably we, I, I will be behind uh, the wheel till mm -hmm. either someone takes over and I can take a short rest or just stay there. Uh, I'll allow you to show because like the majority of this is like you have to just make sure that every once in a while you make sure that the ship's still. It's not like you have to like twenty four seven. You know what I mean? Like so, you have time to short rest while you're while you're up there. Okay. Absolutely. Correct. Thank you. Uh, what were we going to say, Ethan? I was going to say, are we... I, I have something I want to do, but it might take more than... Like, it might take a couple of minutes, so... Are we... After break? Breaking off or... Yeah, I was going to go to now. break here, yeah. So, um, so we'll, we'll save, save that for after the break, then. Uh, with that said, then we're going to go for our intermission. We'll be back in a few minutes um, for the second half of the yeah, session. Yeah. It's good to be back, starting off with some combat. That, uh, it's always fun. And now, I'm just gonna see how uh, the party's gonna brave the storm. The brave the storm that's coming. Oh dear. See you guys in a few. Title of this episode. <laughs> 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 or something about Siren. Yeah, well, but it's literally hello, part of the brand that they hate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that's close. <laughs> Chick Fil A just closes for the entirety of June. I love Chick there goes our Chick Fil A sponsorship. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, guys, shut the fuck up. I want to get sponsored anyway. by Chick Fil A. Not say, if Chick Fil A is sponsored, I leave the campaign. I was gonna say, I don't think. Look, there's two. There's two quiz on the cast. Yeah. I mean, can they just sponsor me then? 
Sure. Indiv as an individual, sure. But like, yes, as an individual, I would love to be sponsored by Chick Fil A. I eat there probably like once every other Friendship week. I fucking ended. love Chick Fil A. That's like, fine. <laughs> Chick Fil A is worth it. Bell, Chick Fil A is better okay. than you. I mean, Bell's right? not a real friend honest. anyway, so like, who cares? <laughs> she doesn't DM That's me cool. back, bro. I think <laughs> Bell is this like unironically like inflammatory, and we need Laura to. Laura at least DMs me back, so Laura's higher on the scale than Bell. All right. Anyway, welcome back. You lots. <laughs> are uh, <clears throat> on the porcupine getting ready for a storm that's about to, that's that's about to hit or cross your path um towards the evening uh brooks i believe you wanted to do something uh, in the meantime or before that yes where mm -hmm. the fuck did my I mouse go going from? to go find Cass. Okay. she is on the deck hey so are you okay? You look very not composed. <laughs> really? Like in what way? In the way that you're pacing. I don't like below deck. <laughs> I. Do you know what? Believe it or not, I didn't think you would. Seeing as you went, <laughs> I don't like the dark, and then mm. everything below deck is. Not super, you know. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's the dark and the confined space and. Ugh. Fortunately, there is a storm coming. <laughs> yeah. Which means yeah, so... not being stood up on the top of the ship for any unnecessary reason. <laughs> Which means you're going to have to go below deck. But I can avoid it for as long as possible. Which is my plan. That is probably not very healthy at all in any real way, shape, or form. It's not unhealthy. <laughs> um... Put this politely. You're not dealing with that, and that's dumb, but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually figured out that this would be a problem when we were down in horrible dark places, and you were like, yeah, no, fuck this. <laughs> to the point of grabbing onto my arm, because it went dark. Okay, you stop bringing that up. Just don't. It didn't, didn't happen. <laughs> He hasn't washed the arm since. <laughs> no, yeah, it's just not that one spot. I brought it up once, but okay. No, it's too many times. I have something for you, and I'm going to give it to you, and then we're not going to talk about it, because this is really fucking awkward, because you are a disaster who seems to enjoy making things awkward like my special skill yeah no i really fucking hate it i really do <laughs> what do you want in exchange then it's it's not a trade huh you're just <laughs> we you're are just giving... going to be on this ship for a while mm. <clears throat> i don't want to have to deal with you whining about it being dark that's just mean. I was just gonna hide quietly in a different place. I'm gonna put my bag down that I brought up with me, and I'm going to take out the fucking uh, metal lantern with the gem of brightness in it, mm -hmm. the glass plate on the front. You look really confused. It's just a magic lantern. I'm very confused. <laughs> You're just giving this to me. It's not a fucking trap or a death or. The more you question it, the more likely I am to change my mind. So just accept it and 
fuck off below deck with it and if you tell it to light up it lights up and you'll see I'm okay give it to her and i'm gonna immediately start walking away okay um as a few hours go by and the storm gets closer and closer captain vera emerges from her from her cabin and takes position next to kai uh by the helm and the first thing she'll do is <clears throat> when the storm hits kai it is your job mm -hmm. to make sure that we do not get off course in the meantime, you lot, is a storm coming, as we're all very well aware. I need you all to man your stations. Davian, probably not wise to remain in the crow's nest while the storm is coming, but I do need you top deck. We gotta make sure that this ship stays afloat. Nobody dies. So I'm gonna need you all to... You're gonna get a bit wet because of the rain, but who cares, all right? There's this bigger fish to fry. The ship needs to remain afloat. So prepare yourselves. Oh, I quite fancy all staying right. up here, I'm not gonna lie, but she's probably not wrong. And as <clears throat> evening falls, you get a quick meal in, uh, but then gets uh, immediately summoned to the top deck. As the storm rolls in, raging waves start slamming against the ship and clouds begin to let loose rain and lightning and thunder. Uh, for the purposes of this, I would like you all to roll initiative, just so that we have an idea of who does what when. You also want me to roll for the parrot? Uh, nah. We'll just say that. No. If the parrot does something, it'll happen on, on Kai's turn. Okay. Uh, hold on. Uh, 20 plus. Brooks. 24, because a natural 20. 24, okay. 15 to 20? 18. 16. 18 for Kai. 16 for Kess. 10 to 15? Fourteen. I got thirteen. Jack's got a fourteen. Hold up. Mm -hmm. I rolled a sixteen, baby. We're moving up in the <laughs> wait, world. Wait, wait, what are we rolling? <laughs> Initiative. Initiative. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This fucking guy, dude. <laughs> um. His head's in the clouds. Five to ten. Nine. Nine. Oh, I got a twelve. My bad. Oh, okay. Twelve for Davian. Nine. I got extra four on the die, and I. I forgot I have a plus eight for a second. <laughs> uh, that's everybody. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's everyone. Okay. So, as the storm has rolled in, these raging waves slamming against the ship, kind of like making the ship veer from left to right, pouring, to, pissing it down, the rain, thunder, f thunderbolts, lightning, very, very frightening. Um, Me? I need you all to make an acrobatics check, please. I have a really? question. Even, even, the acrobatics I have up. a question. I'm gonna be below. I'm below deck. Do I still need to make it? Well, uh, you got I'm given with... orders. You guys in particular got given orders to be top deck when the storm kicks in. Oh motherfucker! That's not my <laughs> station. <laughs> my station's below deck with the fucking yeah, engine. No, what if you're Yeah. What if we're going unconscious? She specifically mentioned you guys. She's like, I'm gonna need you top deck when the storm comes in. Son of a bitch. So, unless you choose to ignore those orders, a direct order, then... No, I'm not <laughs> going to ignore a direct <laughs> order. I'm not going to do that day two of being on the ship. Okay, day okay. four, day three. maybe. Day three, yeah, day three or four, maybe. Just do it on the but way back. Two. Do it on the way back, yeah, you know? Yeah, on the way back. Yeah, exactly. Hey, if I'm in the vessel and the ve vessel is on top deck, then I'm technically on the top deck. That's true. It's not that sure. counts. <laughs> it's it's down to the bottom so, of the ocean. Uh, acrobatics. <laughs> acrobatics. Everybody. <laughs> yes. Uh, one. Okay. I got 24. 24. I got 16. I got 25. 16, 25. Better than dying. It's, it's a dirty one, not a natural one. Hmm? <laughs> a dirty one. 17. 17. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Eight. Eight. Those who rolled uh, lower than 14, as the wave starts slamming into the ship and the ship starts veering from left to right, you just you fall you fall flat on your ass. Just how, right how, out of the gates. How, how high did we have to roll for that? 
Uh, four lower 14. than fourteen is. Uh, oh, is okay, the... I'm cool. Okay, so who who was who was lower than fourteen? Me. Me. Lazarin yeah. So Jack. Jackson and Lazarus, you just fall prone, just poof, just falling, just, just not used, not really developed your sea legs yet. And even Jax, having <laughs> experience, it's been a while, you know, since uh, since and you old. last had to use your sea legs. So you just get knocked flat on your ass immediately, right right as the storm starts to make the waves go very rowdy. Um, Brooks, you rolled highest in initiative. So Vera, Vera has not left, by the way. She is right next to Kai, almost enjoying what's going on. Uh, her being the captain that she is, she's ve like, imagine the scene from Pirates of the Caribbean 3 where Barbosa is just like, in the storm fucking like yelling. That's kind of Vera's attitude right now. Uh, just oh, yeah. next to Kai and Brooks, she'll look at you and uh, just shout at you. Make sure to tie down that loose rope before it kills someone. And you look to where she's pointing. You see that a rope got, a rope got loose and it's just fucking swinging around with with some with quite some velocity and it could easily just decapitate someone if it's uh holy shit so that that is the order that gets barked to barked at you um i need you to make a uh athletics or acrobatics check Brooks. i'm gonna make an athletics mm -hmm. if it looks like it's gonna go bad if i can i will try and take it to the chest rather than have it hit someone else okay uh, four, so fifteen. Jesus Christ! You just run towards the the loose rope, manage to grab it, and just with all the strength you have in your body, muster it down so it stops flapping around. You manage to tie it off securely so that it's no longer a fucking hazard. So very good, you passed that check. So that's one check passed. Need to make sure that I mark that down. Um, we could capsize the ship, guys. We could. Number two is you, Kai, because you rolled second highest initiative. Um, obviously, I'm going to need you to make a strength check to make sure that you keep the wheel under control. Just a question, because I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Could I cast Entanglement on myself so the vines come out of the thing and hold me in, in place? Oh, I'll allow it. I like and that. I'll make it so that that gives you advantage on, on this check. There you go. And I will cast and take so I got things to run my legs to just keep me in place. Yeah, so you don't have to focus part of your strength on keeping on your legs. On you, can whole, just, on like you can channel all yeah. your strength yeah. into making sure the wheel doesn't fucking move. Yeah, okay, yeah. I like that. Good shit. You know, not that, not that steady on my feet because with mm -hmm. a wooden leg. Yeah, yeah no, brain absolutely. Brain I, I, I love right the creativity. Good shit. Uh, yeah, so roll strength with advantage then to make sure to keep the wheel under control. Strength. Strength, strength, strength. I'll allow you to roll That's... athletics if that makes a difference. Would help if I could find strength. Like to think, uh, I'm blind. It, a strength would be on the top. If it's just a strength strength check, it will just yeah. be whatever your strength modifier plus yeah. is. That's if your uh, athletics 17. Is better, if your athletics is better, I'll, I'll allow you to roll athletics instead. That benefits you. Yeah, athletics, athletics is better. Yeah, so, so just use that a, modifier. That's a 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, you manage to you you start noticing that the wheel is is really trying to turn uh to turn left. But you manage to just, especially now that you don't have to focus part of your strength on keeping yourself on your two legs, uh, or your one leg and your peg leg, I guess. Uh, still two legs, right? Uh, you you manage to keep the wheel under control, and you're still headed directly towards where you're supposed to be heading. There you go. Nice. Very good. Uh, Kess. Yes. Vera looks at you, and just shouts at you. Hope you're not afraid of heights! And she points at the sails, and you see that there's like a tear in the sails forming. Uh, mm. And just climb up there, make sure that that hole doesn't get any bigger. And just okay. ordering you to climb up the rigging to get to like the mast and, and get to the sail. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, so I need you to make uh, athletics or acrobatics, depending on which one is better for you. Okay. Someone prep slow fall. <laughs> uh 19 19 yeah you you climb up there it's definitely like a balance game when you get up there because like i said the, the ship is veering from left to right because of the waves just slamming into the hull uh and the, and and the wind has really really picked up um but you manage to stay on your legs and you manage to get towards where the sail is and and for now that's going to be it but we'll get back to that uh when it's cool. uh, when it's your turn again okay Cool, 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 cool. Jax, 
you start to yeah, notice he's... from the corner of your eye, one of the Dragonborn crewmates that's also been summoned to the top deck is losing his balance, and it looks like he might fall overboard if somebody doesn't try and help him. Okay, well... I'll, I'll try okay. and grab him. I don't got a spell to help me, so this should be fun. <laughs> how do, how uh, would you go about trying to help him? Not gonna vortex warp this one. <laughs> I'm out of those spell. I'm out of those spell slots, unfortunately. Um, uh, I have shoots him so that he doesn't have to suffer. <laughs> Pushes him off. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. That help would be me. fun. Um. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna. Oh fuck! Actually, this might be a bad idea. Okay. But it's the first one that occurred to me, so fuck it. Okay. I'm gonna throw my grappling hook to him. Okay. I'm gonna pull up my grappling hook, Ooh, and I'm like, chest. catch! I'm gonna throw a grappling hook at him. He looks at you, and the he, like, he, he the guy's like, what? He catches, <laughs> he catches the hook, and now like has it. I'm imagining one of those like you know those like three headed grappling yeah. hooks. You know what I mean? Uh, that, like, like that, that all three of the points, like, curve to kind of... Like, that, that's what I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. um, so he catches it and holds on to it. Uh, I would like you to either make a strength or a, a, a athletics or acrobatics check to make sure that you... I will do athletics, because my acrobatics is shit. Mm. Well, you're not really acrobatic. What are you talking about? Uh, it's still shit. Uh, it's an eight. Eight. Let's see what he rolls. Okay. The rope... Is definitely like taut and because of his own like strength being thrown in there as well uh he doesn't fall off the edge of the ship like over the railing but his back is like against the railing and it is he's not quite secure yet but good enough for now okay um number four was or number five was daigon mm -hmm. uh vera looks at you and points to uh, uh, the like back sail, the one that's basically behind her, and just yells, "Somebody needs to readjust those sails!" and and points towards the ropes, like to her right, and uh, mm -hmm. just looks at you, pleat like the, looks at you, and and just, Daigon, quick. Okay, I mean, readjust. In my head, I think, readjust how? You didn't get well, she's pointing, she's pointing okay. at the ropes, and as you get there, you, you all kind of got the basic lowdown on how, like, how okay. control things, so you know yeah, that. Yeah, especially for each of our jobs as well. Yeah, okay. so, so you, um, you know that these ropes make it so that the way that they're tied and how taut they are that decides what angle the sail is at, okay. and uh, she wants you to readjust it so that you catch the wind, so you would, that okay. would entail you loosening it, a little bit okay. and then tying it off so that the rope is a little less taut so that the sail has a little more 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 angle to it so okay. for you that would be uh acrobatics or athletics um uh can i if um if i pop out the spectral arms to try and do it faster and have more control because i can have six mm -hmm. hands at once doing it would that give me advantage on the check you know what yes hell yeah so I'm gonna choose acrobatics for obvious reasons. Natural twenty. So for a total of twenty-seven. Yeah, absolutely. You, without without a shadow of doubt, with ease, adjust the sail, and you catch the wind, and you all kind of like feel the wind, or the, the sail now catching the wind, and you guys kind of like notice just this, 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 the little bump in speed the ship's getting, and just oof. But uh, no, none of you, you know, fall on their ass again or anything. Uh, okay, uh, Davian. Hi, um, my lord. Let's see. Make a perception check. Oh, uh, oh I thought it was an 18. It's a 13 plus 6 or 19. I okay. Swear. You look out to the to like in the, in the direction that the ship is headed and it's very hard to see because it's dark there's those clouds covering the moon but as a flash of lightning strikes you just notice in that brief flash of light that there's rocks directly in the path ahead of you and you're the only one that's seen it what i just screamed a fucking kai kai rocks ahead okay 
Best I can do. Uh, I'll give Kai. Uh, you have a. I'll, I'll make say, say this with your reaction. I'll, I'll allow you to react and to to what uh, Davian yelled at you. What do you do? <clears throat> um, I will just throw the wheel on and see if I can go right next to the rocks instead of hitting them. Okay. Uh, so you just immediately react, fucking start turning the wheel as a ship turns. Uh, all of you make another acrobatic check. Do I make the... it with disadvantage because I'm still my fucking ass? I uh, well, you're still your fucking ass. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Because you're already on your ass. Oh, I... So, you know. Oh, well, uh... I'm on my ass. I could slide more. He just slides yeah, you just, yeah. just kinda, like, across the ship. Yeah, you just kind of like slide more. Nothing super Fuck. threatening. <laughs> it's just because the sudden like change in direction would cause you all to kind of like, oh, you know what I mean? So uh, I need all of you to make another dexterity or uh, uh, acrobatics check. Sliding towards Sick, away dude. From me. I would love my, acrobatics, bro. Would my entanglement still be up or would it be gone by now? How long does it last? A minute. Yeah, it's still up. Yeah. So you're, still you, up. I'll, uh, I'll give you advantage. Fuck it. Anyone roll lower than 14? I yeah. hit, a, I did a 14. That's me. Okay. What did you roll, Cass? You muted, though, I think. I'm, I wrote a 16. 16, okay. You, because you're already kind of like holding your balance, uh, I raised your DC a bit, but your D DC was 16, so you just passed the check. Uh, because you're already like trying to hold your balance on the like, on the mast. But um, yeah, you're good. Barely, but you're good. Uh, so those were under 14. You just also, you just <laughs> fall prone because of the sudden change in direction. You just <laughs> Chris, that guy that Jax, Jax we're gonna have to get Jax's in. Oh fuck! Did Jax fall? Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you fall. Uh oh. And you. Do I go overboard with him? You don't go overboard with him. But he, because of the sudden like the rope no longer being taut, he just fumbles backwards and he falls in the water. Is he still holding onto the rope? This didn't die to a siren. No, he let go of the uh, rope. Yes. <laughs> he, he he's the same go. guy he, that he, got stabbed by the siren. He, the rope and the grappling hooks on the deck, but there's no nobody on the other end of it anymore. He he you heard him you heard you heard a kaplunk. He fell in the water. At least I saved my grappling hook. <laughs> <laughs> uh which side of the deck did he fall off? Port or starboard? Uh starboard. Good. Good, 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 good. No, that works. Okay. Um <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Davian had his perception thing. Elazrin. Yeah. Hello. I need you, as Vera looks at you. Oh my ass! Fucking on your ass. rolling around. <laughs> on your ass. You can. Like a turtle. <sighs> How am I gonna fucking make this work? You start to notice that on the side that you're on. So, that's, we'll say that you're port side. Uh, some of the crates that got uh, fastened by some of the crewmates not as secure as you'd hope them to be and you can see them starting to like kind of l sliding around and Vera just looks at you get off your ass and make sure those crates stay in, pl in their place I get up and run over seeing if I have anything do I have anything do I have anything I'm so embarrassed of anything. For uh, this I mean, there's really. definitely like le like lengths of rope that are like wrapped around that you could like yeah. use to secure them a little extra if you if you. I was more to... looking at spells. I'll oh, be okay. real. Yeah, that works too. But no, I don't really have anything the for it. Fucking caster like manual labor. <laughs> fuck no, magic bitch. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Li fuck it. Literally. Uh, yeah. I'll just try and tie some more rope in. And Shore up. Okay. Um, athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Okay. Uh, 16. Yeah, you managed to do it. You, you managed to slide the couple of crates that, that are that were starting to start sliding around the, the deck. Put them back in place. Use the, the like rope that was there to wrap a few extra laps around them before you tie them off again and... It'll hold for now. Am I on the same side as the guy that fell off? Or is it opposite side? I can't remember what side we said. Uh, that's the opposite side. He, he's on the starboard side. Son of a, son of a bitch. Sorry. Because I was 
gonna ask and be cheeky if I could also cast a spell. <laughs> uh, right. I mean, you're not on the same side, and that, uh, the ship is going pretty fast as well. Yeah. We'll see. Well, we'll see. We'll can see. I we'll cast see. a spell anyways on this turn? I'll have to wait till next turn. <laughs> if it's a bonus action, I'll allow it. That a bitch. Because <laughs> your action is spent it's fastening, no, that's the, fastening the crates. I have an idea. I was just gonna not a great idea, but it's save idea. everyone a bit of hassle, but it's all good. Simon. Let the crate go. Um, <laughs> okay, back to Brooks. You look around <laughs> and you notice that or you start hearing some panic coming from below deck and as you kind of like try and listen out for them you just hear one crewmate just panically yell we're, ta we're taking water there's holes <clears throat> right i will look to a lazarin mm -hmm. And I will point and go, the fucking ballista! And then I will start running below deck. Okay. You start running below deck, and you and as you get there, you, you see that there's a couple of holes in, in, in the hull that is... You're taking, taking on water pretty quick. Oh. Okay. I will grab whichever crew are nearby, and I will start organizing that. And okay. then start Very holding good. shit while I do all the fucking lugging around, because I'm quicker than anyone else on this motherfucker. I'm, like, fucking throwing, like, bundles of wood up the fucking stairs. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you're busy doing that. Kai, uh, you've managed to avoid the rocks because of Davian's uh, warning. Um, but it's time for you to, now that you're going around the rocks, to adjust course again. So I would uh, make an athletics check to see if you can manage to... Because right now... You turned left, right? Like, to go left around the rocks? Yep. Which is also the direction the storm was pulling you anyway, so now it is time for you to really go against where the storm wants you to go. Yep. So it's going to require sure. a lot of strength. I will ask, again, just entanglement help. Yeah, 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 you'll, you'll have advantage. Good. So, athletics or strength? Uh, athletics. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's a uh, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah, you managed to. Yeah. You're, you're, you know, you're an experienced helmsman. You know how to, how to, how you. This is not your first storm, so you know how to handle your ship when, uh, when, when storms like this hit, and you just, you, all of your upper body strength goes into just making sure that now that you've steered clear of the rocks, you get back onto course. Oh yeah. Very good. Guess. I've put my ship. I've put my sh my shell in this. Uh, you're up by the sail where there's just like you can see this big tear in it. Yeah. Um What do you do? Um, I'm gonna cast Mage Hand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and like use it to stop the tear from getting any worse. Okay. And cl start climbing up the mast. If I can do that. You gonna start climbing up the mast? Yeah, I'm gonna climb up to it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, make another acrobatics or athletics check, please. Okay. Probably acrobatics, right? No one guesses stat line. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 20. Yeah, no, no issues. You, it's, it's windy as fuck, and the higher you get, the, the harder the wind seems to blow you around, but you manage to, you manage to brave the wind and, and get to where you want to be. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna go back to Davian again. Okay. All right. Uh, because this is definitely. What's Onu doing while this is all? Hungering down. Uh, hungering down, man. He's not in the air. That's a damn sure. Okay. Um, he's probably just begrudgingly sheltered somewhere on the deck. Okay. Grabbing okay. onto whatever he can. Um, what's your like passive perception, Davian? Pretty high, right? Uh, 16. Yeah. You don't necessarily see it, 
but your nose recognizes the the scent of 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 fresh wind coming in and and as you kind of like there's just a change in air and a change in uh in in in, in just the scent that comes with it instead of the the the, the as you, whatever, as you're, as you kind of pressure, like, it's a change of pressure. Yeah, right. That's that's what I was looking for. And and as you kind of like notice that, you look, and you can see in the direction that you're headed, that you you're almost through the storm. It's 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 not going to be Ooh. very long before before you've braved it and I... it'll be behind you. Uh, with that said, make a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. 17. 17? A rope to your left got loose and just <laughs> flings your direction, but you manage to see it coming. You duck down, dodging a what would have been very devastating blow from this this, this rope going at you with high velocity. Um, yeah, and that's going to be it for you for now. All right, well, as I <laughs> narrowly avoid getting fucking... Thrashed. I will uh, get get back to my feet and just call out. We're almost through it, everybody. Hold fast. All right. It's it, you know. Yeah. Everyone's inspired. Everyone like that. You know. Absolutely. The crew will remember that. Absolutely. Um. Vera will look at Jax and just shout. <laughs> Stop the first man overboard, get off your ass and make yourself useful. Kira, uh, don't give a fuck. I love it. And she'll uh point towards that rope that 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 almost fucking destroyed Davian while she's saying that. <clears throat> Destroy me. Got it. <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna, while moving towards it, try and shove my grappling hook like into my bag. Sure. I don't lose it. Mm -hmm. and then try and grab the rope to tie it down, I guess. Okay. Um, Hi. One of the two. Athletics or acrobatics? Both suck dick. Mm -hmm. It's a six. It's a six. You grab six. hold of the rope, but the wind catches it and. It just flings you <laughs> overboard, and you are now hanging overboard onto the rope, uh -oh. but you are hanging beside the ship. Oh, You've not no. fallen in water yet, but you're, you're hanging onto the rope beside the ship. Oh. oh. Um, with that, Daigon, you see that happen. Oh, no. What do you do? I see that Jax is hanging. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, if I'm not being ordered by Vera to do something else, I'm going to go, especially while I still have my arms out, because mm -hmm. I can use their extra strength. I'll try and help pull up, pull him, either pull on the rope he's holding on and like pull him up or reach down to, okay. how far is he? Like, does it look like I'd have a better shot if I reached out a hand to grab uh, him or about, I should just pull the rope? He's about like, like 10 feet down. So a little too far okay, I'll, to reach. I'll work on pulling the rope up then with all okay. six so I can try and do the hand over hand pretty quickly. Make, a, make an athletics arms. check with advantage. Okay. Now athletics is normally a strength modifier, but with the arms out, I can use my wisdom in place so I can swap like the normal stat for correct. athletics, right? Correct, okay. correct, correct. Okay. Oh, actually roll good. 18. Yeah, yeah you, you with, with all of your arms, uh... You know, is it six of them, including your normal six. arms, right? Yeah, because I have two physical and then yeah. four corporeal. So these six arms grab onto the rope and just yank Jax back on board. Jax, you just get flung corporeal. back onto the deck. Just, But uh, you're no longer dangling beside the ship, so that's nice. <laughs> Dude, if I was the first one to lose my character again, <clears throat> no. like this, I would cry. No. <laughs> Um, the storm. struggles to sail. Just with tread that, water. With that, uh, <laughs> the two of you... The foot waves, The yeah. two of you kind of like being busy with that rope stops it from immediately starting to fling around again, especially because Diagon has all six of her hands like uh, grabbed onto it. Um, <clears throat> one more thing. Kes? Yeah. You've made your way towards where the, the, the gash in the sail is and your, your mage hand is... 
temporarily stopped it from from tearing any bigger and completely destroying the sail but as we all know mage hand isn't particularly strong so yeah that would that will have lasted for one turn what do you do um i want to i want to tear down the edges of the tear so that it can't rip anymore okay all right all right all right um so are you just standing there holding on to holding on to the, the 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 sail like help me visualize this um i'm wrapping rope around the sail wait hmm. wait is the sail open what do you mean open or is it like is it being used yeah yeah it is oh okay okay like the sails oh, are down okay. let's have a look which is how the tear uh, mm. formed to begin with. I'm just gonna hold it. You're just gonna hold on to it just for now, so that hopefully yeah. you can hold on hold on to it long enough for it to not tear even more and get out of the storm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Make an acro. Mm. Yeah, make uh, make an acrobatics check. Okay. Would I send chip up and help? If sure. So you have advantage, oh. guess. Because oh. chip. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's what you mean, right? It's help action from chip. Yeah, yeah, just to help. Okay. Not sure how he, how he would help, but I, rules as written, man. <laughs> Moral support. Moral the parrot support. Oh, <laughs> the parrot also been doing this. Hold the sail. Hold the right? sail. Yeah. Hold the sail. Ac acrobatics, yeah. Uh, twenty-three. Yeah. Okay. That'll do for now. Um. Boom, boom, boom. With that, as you've now passed the amount of skill checks you had to pass to 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 make it through the storm, the porcupine makes his way out of the storm into more clear skies um one man overboard but bye as far as damages goes brooks is keeping busy making sure that the holes in the hole get fixed asap there's crewmates already like making sure that the water that 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 pulled down below deck is being thrown back into the ocean you know they're they're you know running up and down with buckets just chucking chucking it all out but you made it through the storm Woohoo. Good job. What do you guys do? If I see that sail still has a tear, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I'll, I'll run up to where Kess is. Wait, uh, is everyone accounted for? Hold on. Yeah. Or except the Dragonborn. Barring one of the Dragonborn right. crewmates, yeah. Oh, he's just kind of... He's just kind of gone. Like I that. mean, this Nobody's ship, full table. wind in the sails, blasting it through the storm. Yeah, he's... Plus, gone. he can't breathe underwater, and he's probably drowned in the 20-foot waves that are probably going on. Like, he's a goner. Mm. Hey, he's treading water, bro. He's treading water. <laughs> he's he's actually, actually buoyant. I don't know what no, you're he's, doing. He's doing the thing, you know. Our, what they say, just float. He brought a float if he just, just float. fire breaths really hard, he'll fly. <laughs> and he'll be Very good. His tail Vera, is just full of air. Vera will will step down from uh, being next to the helm and get to the get down towards just like the the mizzen, as I just learned. Um, mizzen mast. Look around and well, that was interesting. Not the worst. No one died. Well, oh. well, yeah. Well, you know, it's I'm better the storm than the sirens. I don't know. To be honest, it, it, you know, it's the siren just punctures your chest. You're done. Uh, drowning seems quite horrible. Not that I have to personally worry about ever drowning, but you know. Uh, Me neither. Very good. <laughs> anyway, I'll make sure that word gets to his uh, you know, friends and family. But for now, unfortunately, we have a task at hand cannot be distracted. It's a shame that that had to happen, but it's time to uh, feel bad about it later. You all are pretty good. The majority of you being the first first time being on a ship like this. Quite impressed. 
Do you think it might have been the druids that sent the storm? Um, well, ever since what happened to us, uh, whenever a storm hits, it's always the back of my mind that it's possible, but I feel like if it were the druids, we our ship wouldn't have survived. I'm just going to wring out <laughs> my cape <laughs> over the edge. <laughs> I will prestigitate um, myself so I'm dry. Uh, I will mend at this point. I will cast mending on that sail. Alright. So Kes, you uh still holding the sail and suddenly you, you can see that the sail just kind of like magically fixes itself and you look down and you see a Lazarin you know, focusing on it. Well, I have to go up and touch it. Oh, you have to go up and touch it? So yeah, Lajan climbs up the mast and just kind of like, like hey, friend. arms over you, touches the oh. sail, and you can see the sail just magically Sorry, up. sorry. Sorry, I just need to get to... Uh, just need to... Oh, another hug. <laughs> no, it's not another hug. Oh, that's so sweet. No, it's not another hug, Kess. No, it's not. I knew you were a hugger. Sure. Oh, nosebleed? Yeah. <laughs> um, with that said, you lot have done enough. You're uh, good to uh, retire for the night. Expect you back on deck, fresh tomorrow morning. Yep. Sounds good to me. Good. Fog. <laughs> I will then also go below deck. See, see, bro. <laughs> and just start mending holes. He singles hard, cross the ship. I just go for this and I'm just there like... He's like, oh, they're trying to measure a hole to see how wide like the wood he needs to cut. Are they more than there. a foot? Are any of the holes more than a foot, Mr. DM? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you, don't you need all of the... If part of the whole, if part of like object. a thing is damaged, yeah, it can just magically fix it, right? Like you don't need so all the wood splinters or whatever. Longer than one foot in any dimension, you mend it, leaving no trace of the former damage. I'm gonna nail a wood to his forehead. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's called a crucifixion, and that's not okay. It's not Kai, as that is still, illegal on the seas. Kai, illegal on the seas. As you're still uh, at the helm, on, the you see on Vera, land is okay. You see but... Vera dip into her cabin and comes out a few minutes later, walks up to you. Good job, Kai. And she hands you a pretty sizable bottle of rum. Hey. Ooh, hell yeah. Go enjoy some downtime with uh, with those guys down below deck. I'll I'll take over for a little bit. Michael, thank you. I'm sure I will. That was... Time for her to start pulling her weight. God. <laughs> well, uh, I, 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 talk. <laughs> I, I, reckon, I reckon by now my entanglement is gone, right? So I can actually She heard your thoughts, Diane. Yeah. She somehow yeah, I, I, mean, I accidentally drank right, my. So. I accidentally and like drank it's, yeah, it's a spell that you yeah. can, you can always bottle. choose to just drop it whenever you yeah. want. So I can't just, wait for. Just the, wondering if it's all still there or not. So. Oh, okay, I will. I will uh, go down and, and empty the bottle okay. quite quickly. Okay. Oh, if we're chilling for the evening, <laughs> mm -hmm. I also wanna um, via sign language, but not necessarily trying to hide it from anyone. Um, tell Kess that. If we're ever in a situation where we're on the, like the boat and she needs to go into the vessel, especially if we think it's gonna be a storm, we can maybe like tie it to like like a my belt or something first, so it doesn't like roll off the boat and then <laughs> lose her while she's in the vessel. Yeah, put her in a container somewhere so that when she comes out, she's just in a crate. <laughs> <laughs> Either I say, or if she doesn't want it like maybe secured to me, we should come up with a plan of where your vessel will be secured should we get into a position where. For some reason, you're in it, and then maybe if some like a storm unexpectedly comes up, or you're not like I'm given. Obviously, that one you were we were all needed and doing shit. But for any other context, just in case, maybe good to have a plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking something like I could just tie it into a knot on a rope that's attached to one of the masks because I have to touch it to disappear into it, and then if I disappear, sure. it'll just be dangling on a rope. Sure. All right. Just wants to put Future plan. My crate this time. When I when I go down below, I'm gonna use the lantern. Mm -hmm. What what is on the lantern? Uh, Brooks, if you want to describe it. Um, the so three sides of the lantern are metal. Mm -hmm. So the light projects, and it's like it it's legitimately like 
bright sunlight coming through a stained glass window, um, and it's it's uh, layered to have like a. It's hard to describe Twilight. It could be sunrise or sunset. Yeah. But it, it's that sort of color palette of like it's it's someone who's never been to the Feywild and has Trying only to ever heard Kest who's aesthetic. spoken about what light is like in the Feywild and then describes that to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese whispers. Yeah. yeah so it's like like there's just <laughs> like a, a slight slim bit of sun and then it's just a gradient of oranges to blues. Pretty. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking expensive Gemini. <laughs> um, when she's below deck, Kaz is gonna find Brooks and give him a hug. No. What's gone wrong? <laughs> like, Brooks hugs her back and just goes, <laughs> Are you okay? This... It's really, oh, it means a lot. I've never really had anything someone's bought specifically for me before. Gifts aren't really a thing <laughs> back home. Thank you. I don't know how to respond to that, so let's go get drunk. <laughs> okay. As you say that, um, you you see in like the corner of of this like main like 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 how would I have, what's the mess hall oh, type deal you can see uh celesti sitting at a table just a bottle of rum in hand and an empty table and just looks at you lots and just drink hell yeah <laughs> we so the alcohol on the boat i'm assuming it's decent but it's not like expensive no, it's it's all right. It'll do the job. Alchemy okay. jug, alchemy <laughs> jug. <laughs> Shit, that's right. <laughs> Free beer for days. I Two pints a person, this, baby. Let's go. I think this deserves something a bit more special, given that none of us died in the horrible storm. Yay! Except that dude. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fine. As you say that, you look I'm sure he's treading water out there, you know. And you see that Legend has already uncorked one of the expensive bottles that I have. <laughs> I bought. Quick, quick out of character question for Mr. DM. Hello. Remind me what the name in our calendar world for the month of April is. Old. Oh, we have that in our pinned, I think. Oh, do we? I'm so sorry. Uh, then. App name. App name. There you go. It's Thank you. It is a pinned. Okay, beautiful. Great. There you go. Thank you. I remember things sometimes. Do you do you choose to join Celeste at our table, or are you just gonna do your own thing? Heck yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm gonna. Uh, I, I want to sit next down to Kai, dude. That's who I want to sit with. I mean, I, mean, I should invite now? Kai over. I, yeah, I think Kai just Kai just walks down, and by the time he's down, he already downed half the bowl. It's just I'm... those are my friends, and he's just gonna sit where <laughs> everybody enough, else is. I'm so off the bottle of rum. You know when you're not at the same table as someone, but you're sort of at the table next to them. I'm like that with the group with this wires. I'm waiting for it to like aerate because it's a really expensive bottle of fucking wine. I'm like, it's gonna aerate first. Is Elijah out... sat like on a stool? Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting. Grab the just stool legs and just drag him over. <laughs> no, 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 no! It's gonna be. No, I don't want the alcoholics to get this before it's ready. For I'll I'll sake. open my bag in front of a Lazar and then just lift up one of the bottles of wine about that much out the bottle. Because I've also bought an expensive bottle of wine. That's all right, but you know, it needs to aerate first, you know, to get the full flavor. I'm not saying we have to drink it now, I just brought a nice bottle of wine for you, put your fucking wine in. Just set my backpack down <laughs> and just pull just out this me. big jug covered in corks. Yeah. Ah, wine. <laughs> 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 Celestia oh, just like fuck, look. it's not good. But it is wine. <laughs> Celestia just looks at you all and just... That was a crazy storm, wasn't it? Like box wine. Uh, yeah, pretty I much. I will yeah. put... Oh, it's still box wine. Is this uh, your I'll first time? I'll get a time? fucking bottle of and whiskey. First time experience of a storm at sea? Yeah. Hmm. First time I've been on top deck when it's happened. It's my first time not being... Yeah, we all know you're more of a bottom type, eh? Hey? ...fucking passenger area during a storm. Surprised none of you threw up, to be honest. I threw up a lot my first time 
dealing with a storm like that. Wait, Elazarin didn't puke. Oh, just that good. What do you mean? Oh, I'm it's not too much. You didn't vomit? I'm so proud of you. I don't vomit often at all. It happened twice. Mm. If that was once. Kai around for six, and for well, I think it was three times. Was Kai, yeah, yeah Kai, Kai would have been a part of the crew about that time. Oh, yeah, in that yeah. case, Kai would be like, oh, I remember that, and then takes another sip. <laughs> Wine, do I get in this thing? What, a wine? gallon. A oh fucking gallon. Also, by the type of wine. Also, you just said wine. No. Who knows what the fuck you've got in there? It's <laughs> Zinfandel. Yeah, you didn't say what color, what type. Just like, wine. wine. Yeah. It's a rose. You just have mushed grapes. <laughs> <laughs> grape juice. Fermented grape juice. So, so that's just a little bit of everything. Kind of like, look at you all. So, is that you? You done for the day? You're relieved of your duty? No. Yeah, unless the so. anything else breaks. I mean, unless it's someone injures themselves, I suppose. Right. Oh, if anything else breaks, there's, you know, there's now more people to deal with. She said we're off the hook, right? The last one can go fix Let it me. if anything breaks. He's, you know. So what I'm hearing is drinking game? Drinking game? Drinking game, drinking game would be good. <sighs> I just yeah, well, a really good bottle of wine. Well, right, and you, now you're going to drink it. So what yeah, do you fucking mean? Fucking wine. When we play the drinking game. It's fine. What did you uncork the wine for? Look at it. I will no, share just... my whiskey with you. Oh, no, it's fine. I can. Oh well, I'm not going to fucking share it with you if your response is oh. I've got no, a no, gallon no, of no. fucking <laughs> Schrodinger's wine here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I don't think we'll run out anytime soon. It's neither red nor white until you throw it into the Fuck. It's technically both, actually, if you don't know. It? So they have to. Okay, what is this drinking game? What do you propose? Well, um, if we're you know potentially going on a little little adventure together, maybe uh, just get to know each other a little bit more. Hmm. Anyone of you ever played? Never have I ever. I mean, no. A long time. I mean, look at her for a long time. So it's As basically, in, I'll start. I'll, played, I'll say something. So I'll say something. For instance, you know, it starts with "Never have I ever," and then I'll say something that you know, an action, I suppose. And uh, if you have done it, you drink. Okay. It has to be something you've never done though. When you say it, it doesn't have to. You can bluff. I thought the rule is I I I, I signed I signed a cast. I signed a cast to ask. I thought the rule was if you say something, you can say something you have done, but then you also drink upon asking the question to indicate well, the, that you've done the thing. The way she's bluff. proposing it is like, if one of you just doesn't believe the, that the person saying bullshit? the thing hasn't done that, you can call bullshit and then they have to be upfront about it and then double drink. Oh, that's right. fun. I like that new layer. Yeah. Oh. So she'll... But then the accuser... But if it's true, then the accuser has to drink again. again. Exactly, yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. I enjoy that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, this is reminiscent of Cardiff. Hey. My favorite is. It so is. <laughs> Wish I was there. Uh, um, Same. Loser. Loser. I'll plan another one when I feel less scared to travel. Okay, Dutch. I'll do it. And you can go this time. All right. Um, never have I ever pissed off a very important figure on the first day of meeting them, and she starts. I just, I just I look drink. at Cass. Drinking. I just look at Cass and drink. <laughs> I'm I sure we've done that many times. I, like first, several first drinks. Oh, what what am I drinking? Did anyone give me anything to drink, or am I providing my own drink? I don't know. I'm drinking yeah, Davian's wine. If anyone doesn't have a drink in their hand, I'll buy you. I'll buy you. Davian does have a gallon of wine to fucking. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm helping down that wine. I would, I would look expectantly at Davian do the thing like I do the puss in boots cat face. Well, if everyone's work, got if really everyone's got cups, yeah, I'm yeah, filling yeah, up. You can grab cups from the bar area. Absolutely. You see that I I see that I pour like some of my wine and then take like wait. Aladdin takes a drink to that question, but it's like the smallest little sip of oh, just gotta <laughs> enjoy it. So I um, just yeah, takes I a take big old gulp. She'll look just like oh, I'll go in order of like overlay because that's easier for me. Uh, so she'll look at Kai. Your turn. Never have I ever been hit in the face by rope. She drinks. I drink. 
<laughs> like, like ship rope or just rope in general? Just or... Rope in general. Just... <laughs> she drinks and she'll just say, that's also part of that first storm that I was a part of. I remember. I came this close. That, that felt targeted. If you remember that, that felt targeted. <laughs> it, it did, didn't it? Yeah. That's a we just like to drink. <laughs> we do, we do. All right. Uh, I guess if we're going in order, uh, she'll look at Daigon. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure your friend doesn't mind translating. I, that way you get I go to play like as well. This. I go like this and say no, and I will take one of my thoughts and prayers and pour it oh, into the wine. Shit. That oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I will take a sip, but then I'll, I'll hold out a finger like this, and I'll sign to cast. Tell her this, this, this drink doesn't count. She'll understand in a minute. And I take I like a sip of the it. wine, and then everyone hears in their head, including Celeste, in the super like deep and rich and kind of raspy voice that so Daigon would have had. Daigon. Oh, true. I, if anyone else hasn't yeah. heard it, again, that actress who is like Shore, yeah. a name I yeah, can't yeah, pronounce, but yeah, the name, really yeah. deep, rich, raspy voice. Um, you hear, never have I ever received a gift on my birthday, and I do not drink. I do not drink. Shit, she I like drink. first of all, she looks at you and that's fascinating. That's just sad. But she also <laughs> like she drinks and then that is so sad. It, 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 people give you gifts when you're born. Yes. It's about two weeks. Never from not, born, well, not when. Well, like, sort of when you're born, born but not really when you're born. Uh, it was going to be five back. days to get to where you need to be, and then a week back to Eldilon. And we're a day in. This is your second yeah. day. It will be my birthday, basically, as we're arriving back. So, <gasps> oh. take a bottle each. I'm so confused. Well, it's just, yeah, you get, you get gifts. Think of it as a date of your date of birth. Think of it as an individual religious ceremony. It's not an anniversary, but for anniversary. you, it's to celebrate the fact that you're you're alive for this, you know, however many years. I signed Some a cast, basically. Even have name days. Yeah, I signed a cast and go, basically, there's a lot of ways to die. And it's pretty exciting when you make it another year in life. Because it's very easy to, to not be cast. alive. You don't need to so, sign. Oh, true. True. Right now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so you're so signing. I, I yeah. should think you're yeah. all doing <laughs> yeah. this. Like... No, like just muscle memory. I forget. And I am signing the cast, yeah. but you guys hear in your head, yeah. basically, there's a lot of ways to die. And it's pretty impressive when you make it through another year of life. And traditionally, so people, will look at you. I've heard, give gifts. Celestia so will look at you and just. Never thought of it that way, but that does make sense. <laughs> that's it's not a, a that's tradition. not a thing where I come from. It's kind of hard to keep track of the Wait, days. When is so. do you know your birthday? Me? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, well, <laughs> yes, both of you. No, my birthday is the twenty second of Apnim. Didn't, oh. didn't you say cast the time works differently over there? Yeah, yeah that's well, she, I mean, she has a rough idea of her age, but <laughs> it, it it still flows in a very similar way. It's just between the planes, it differs. But like a week here could be a so, year. So no, no, no. So if our calendar is based on seasons, do you guys have? A, is there a different calendar in the Feywild? Is there a calendar in the Feywild? There is, but yeah. it's 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 different. So, is there not like a direct translation of your birthday to us? Well, well uh, there could be, but I no one keeps track of it. Why don't you? Why, why don't you do this then? Today? You, 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 you can pick your birthday, as in like maybe I don't know the date you left the Feywild and or something. I don't know. The Just to make you that your unofficial the material birthday. Plane. Yeah. Right. You can share mine if you want, but I'm not getting you a present if we have a birthday <laughs> on the same day. Well, that's or the day we point. all met. So, out of character, that's my birthday. Ethan, Ethan, you said your birthday's in five days? From, no, 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 when no. we arrive, but this was day two. When we're, when we're arriving. So your birthday's in three days? In no, no, when you get back. In, uh, back to Eldon. Eldon. It's 12 days. Oh, okay. So 12, uh, 12 ish. Oh, never this. Because I mean, everybody oh, needs well, a birthday. Well, it's it's it's, it's supposed to be like a day of the year that you can look look out, look forward to, like 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 winter's fail, you know. This is 
times a year where it's exciting and there's there's, there's these there's these things you do, your gifts. Yes, we'll get you a Except calendar. It's just one day all about you, which day. given your, you know personality, Kess, I feel like you <laughs> you love a day that everyone has to give you stuff and you don't have to do anything. And you don't even That open. seems like your kind of thing all the way around. Yeah, and before the thoughts and prayers drink wears off, uh, again everyone hears but thought directed to Kess. That's why I never gave you a gift on your birthday, not because I didn't want to give you one, but your whole thing with gifts is that everything's, like, reciprocal, and you can't, like, the fact that you clearly were never expected to receive a gift for free and not have to give one back, I assumed you didn't have a birthday or didn't know your birthday. So that's why I never gave you one. That's a good assumption. <laughs> <laughs> and now my drink is worn off. He probably. Hearing that, hearing that again, like, the thoughts and prayers, I just lean over to Brooks, I'm like, is that is that what the is that what Dagon sounds like? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's that's insane. <laughs> I mean, I assume it's what Dagon would sound like. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, you know when you say something that you think is quiet? <laughs> and you're like, I've never heard that. Like <laughs> ever. <laughs> like Yeah, the actress's name is Short Shore Agdushlu is the voice inspiration yeah. for Dagon's voice. Did not expect that. I mean but, uh, is it any weirder than the way that my voice changes if I speak in in I know? No. What? It's just unexpected, isn't it? Okay. Um this birthday question <laughs> was know. a little depressing. Have any of you heard me speak in Burma. Davian? I never have I ever gotten seasick and thrown up. She drinks. I just not drink. Brooks drinks. And Asmund does. Jack drinks. <laughs> only my third time on a ship. Yeah, this is my probably third or fourth. I went I've been out to... sloops and stuff. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been. Yeah. I was briefly uh, on a ship once with my dad. On lakes. And I took a ship from Sigalia to to the continent and this is number three. You never said why you left Sigalia. Because it was a shit show. Thanks for that. I'm just like... Alright, uh, Jax? Um, now he's got 300 years of living or something, so... I'm gonna say, the lot of shit. Better be something good. No pressure. Fuck, what did I... <laughs> I had one before I went to go grab my fucking steak. Fuck. <laughs> um... Have I ever lost my house and mortgage on a lecture? <laughs> Forced by a bitch of an ex-wife. <laughs> Never have ever been divorced. You know what? If I haven't, go on astral <laughs> NFT. <laughs> Fuck off! I hate this. <laughs> um, never have I ever defiled a place of religion. Fuck off! Define defiled. You defile places of religion every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> I don't nah. do it in the place of religion. Hang on, didn't we watch you and fucking Elijah and take one apart last time we were on now, the Now, are we talking... No, are we talking about thing, places that are consecrated or places that have been desecrated already? So if there's desecrated oh, ground, it's technically in holy site. No, 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 no. You said a place of religion. He said a place of religion, religion that takes in fucking everything. Right, and I'll watch you and him. A consecrated place. I literally, I literally take out my journal that has one journal entry. It was literally like possible group names and just point that one of the names on that list was the Altar Smashers and just show it to Jax and give a, a really kind of eyebrow. I I don't drink to when they talk about when, I just point a dagon. When he <laughs> when he talks about like religion in general, I go to take a drink, but when he says consecrated ground, I don't drink. So no no, so no, no. So will like look define defile. No, thank you. No, I'm never... Ruined religious proceedings on I've the I slept with a cleric ground. once, does that count? And I don't mean Elijah before I know you start joking around. <laughs> I, do you know what, Davian? This is my point. If it's on holy ground, but you don't leave any trace. Yeah, it seems pretty fucked up, right? Did feel like I wanted to vomit the whole time. Not because of him, though. He was very attractive. 
Celestia will like look at Again, a him in a church. She... Now your race not kind of issues. <laughs> <laughs> Celestia will just kind of like take a drink and just like kind of mutter, not on purpose. <laughs> God, Celestia, you've done a lot in this world. Don't well, travel. it's just I've shown you my research, right? I needed some supplies, and uh, well, I, I I found some things back where I come from. Um. My, my grandmother being the head of that, that circle of druids, and I just used some of her supplies. How was I supposed to know that they were, like, holy tools for some ritual that she... I, I didn't know. Uh, it's easy, easy mistake to make. Right! That's what I said. But they didn't agree. Mm. Well, um, I'm, I'll probably not drink for this one, I think. I haven't done anything too heinous. We could always change that one. Weird we question, though, for a guy that's literally smashing altar, just because it's not consecrated. I, I feel like that's... I, I feel like that's... Oh, no, I think there's a difference. I'm sorry, between, I'm like, older than a lot of things. <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference between, like, the I've fucking... I've lived, like, four of your lifetimes. No altar that we found versus, like, an actual, like, site of, you know, prime deity worship and shit. Yeah, but aren't that's you... True. You know, isn't that a little bit prejudice right like what makes well you know other than I mean, the, the whole evil, objective it's like, evil it's not like it's not like the god of murder and death is subjective you know yeah i mean it's the god of murder right there are some pretty but it's still a god Could and you it's still an altar a site. To the god of murder no this is like no we defaced an altar that belonged to some fucking I'm pretty sure it was a god of murder. Faced a lot of altars. Uh, I believe yeah, it was yeah. a god of murder. Yes, at, at yeah. least one of them. On the face, of... oh, we've done the this is one well done. Pretty sure it was Vecna, no? Yeah, we've done Vecna. We have we've done. Vecna. We've, yeah, yeah, but when we were didn't we do way back as well? Huh? Yeah, way yeah, back. Yeah, I'm yeah, pretty yeah, sure yeah. I remember the god of murder. God speaking. of murder with the knolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The right, you know, go. Right, yeah. right, right, yeah, you did. Man, We've you, done a few. You have to face a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, the ones so, that, the so if we're going to take that good. question, we should, re I feel like just for the sake of a drinking game, we should take that at face value and drink because we've smashed all the altars yeah. in our time. Okay, you know, I'll like... drink. I'll drink. Again, I'll take like a small drink, but I'm like, but not consecrated ground, though. Only things are desecrated. I don't know if the ground was consecrated or not. But... If you have to if ask that question, sure, you can probably assume that it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if it's a holy site, it's probably anywhere within ground. you say a radius of like a few, you know, a few couple hundred feet around a church, probably, you know, safe. Well, bed. It depends how much they pay the fucking. Then yeah, a few hundred feet around a church, is pretty generous. I mean, come on, you know, at that point you're already in the so whorehouse. I was just, I was just spitballing. I don't know, you know, just, just... the church right next, next, whorehouse, right next nice. to the church. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple hundred nice. feet is like down the sh down the street, but right? The church like, has like a graveyard as well. It's quite a lot of land. Mm -hmm. Well, right, so that, you know, but not a couple hundred feet around, because you don't know what goes on across it's the street. Better safe than sorry, door. right? That's true. Yeah. I'm just saying, that sounds just very generous. I mean, I hope they're just, you know, paying tax or something. You know, it's a lot of ground. Well, they, Consecrated I mean, ground, I don't think that's how that works. They don't pay taxes, they're a, fi they're a uh, 501c. What? Shut up. They're tax exempt. <laughs> yeah. Charity commissions. <laughs> right, Kess? Gift aid. You next? Ooh. Never have I ever set someone on fire. I mean, well, this Fuck is just bullshit, really. My drink. <laughs> Fuck off. Holy fire is fire. I, uh, yep. I also yeah. drink. <laughs> Does Kess drink? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I just signed a Kess just drinks a reminder. Double, given the events of today. <laughs> I signed a cast just a reminder. The goal of this game is to make everyone else more drunk than you. So try and pick things you haven't done. That's a very short list. I'm mm -hmm. aware, but you know. All right, Elasrin. You're muted, by the way, Brooks. <laughs> by all Ethan. The, the guy that I yeah. eviscerated with that one thing was he on fire or was he just warm? <laughs> Did he no, leave behind he a pile of charred remains? I think if you have to ask, it's probably yes. It was, it was less charred and more chunky. Just drink. I Fuck will it. stare Brooks <laughs> in the fucking eyes, <laughs> stare him down, and just hear with a. I just go, never have I ever paid for multiple whores at once. <laughs> <laughs> 
I drink. I don't <laughs> drink. <laughs> Daigen so. goes like she starts to drink. Like, oh, no. And just, just to see I if anyone looks at her is like, what? Alazen Ala Ala waits for Brooks to finish his drink and drinks. <laughs> I don't drink. I look at Elazarin and I sit there and I don't drink. You lying piece of shit. <laughs> you didn't pay for it. Oh, no. oh, you fucking pay for one, did you? You fucker. I have paid. I have paid for horse. I have paid for company. I have had company with multiple people. I've never paid for multiple people. Found a loophole. <laughs> you would find a loophole That's in that one. I think I'm going to you, like, you Lazarin. What? Last one, and then uh, I'm going to hit the hay because it's an early day tomorrow. Uh, Brooks? God. Oh, there's so many, and I'm so tempted to target a Lazarin because he's a oh. <laughs> But do you want to target someone, or do you want to try and fish information from the group? That's your, oh your my real God. decision. Never... Have I ever? Never have I ever regretted meeting up with someone. Uh, define meeting up with someone. Well, I think meeting In up with someone having... means meeting up with someone. It's just In a two consenting adults manner. Oh. Um, what? Wait, so. Why, why not just say what it is? Intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> you see Celeste? Celeste definitely has a, like, that, like, that, like, <clears throat> childish, just, like, playful, like, she's, yeah. she's mature, but she's also, she's very childish. She... I was trying to be polite. After I just said, have you fucked most of a paid for Yeah, we're, we're, in the fuck, we're in the underbelly of a fucking pirate yeah, ship. This is not the place for manners. No. <clears throat> Alright, fine. It. Fuck it. Have you ever fucked someone you regretted sleeping with? No mm. one drinks. Impressive. Applaud everyone's choices. Good for you. Regret is a strong word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Regret yeah. it. It just wasn't the best of times. It didn't <laughs> happen. I didn't, you know, I didn't get rusty no, 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 cutlass no, no, or anything, no, no. so... We're, we're not <laughs> leaving that. We're not <laughs> Celestia will... Wait, wait, wait. Brooks, do you drink? Brooks looks like he thinks about it and then decides not to. So let's see we'll look at you. I feel like the question like that stems from experience, so I'm gonna yeah. call your bluff. Yeah. Okay, I mean I sort of asked the question without thinking and then had this did I regret it, didn't I regret it? There are times where I've slept with someone and then something shitty is happened because of it and i've been like maybe that wasn't the best idea but i don't think i regretted that specific action um still water there are run people deep. i've slept with that i regretted ever meeting and having in my life but i feel like that's a bit more broad than well just... technically that's regret fucking fine that means Trust me, if, I hadn't slept right? with her, if i hadn't fucked her i'd have still regretted meeting her so that's fine just need to narrow down the question next time. Yeah, thankfully I haven't fucked any of you, but I regret meeting all of you. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, because without us you would have this uh, awesome powers that you now have, yeah. as you say. What the fuck, dude? It's just a bit of playful ribbon, Elazarin, you little fucking prick. <laughs> just a bit of pleasurable ribbon. I fucking oh, control flame a candle from the table and go, woo, and the flame goes, whoop, in Elazarin's face and it scares him a little bit. <laughs> So let's see like get up and it's just like And on that note before this turns into domestic, I'm going to bed. <laughs> what do I have? To have to see ship? you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> what do I have well. to retaliate? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'm a cleric. Fuck I heal him. Yeah. yeah. Such. I cast yeah. your wounds. Inflict wounds level three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the shoelaces and then mend them together so it's just. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's That's guess, guess, what's hap guess what's happening tonight, baby? <laughs> <laughs> That's going too far. That is too far. We do not allow that in this. Group. Back off, bro. That's too far. <laughs> The funny thing is, like, funny. Dabby it's intends to sleep with his sleeves and then mend it together so his shirt has no sleeves. <laughs> Wait, he's just sleeping, going. 
<laughs> fucking get stands up out of bed and just fucking boom like straight over. Uh, anything you guys want to do or discuss before uh, you call it for yes. the night? Before Kai leaves. Fax is gonna seduce him. Before yeah. what? Sorry. I'm I'm in the hippos, not turtles. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I like them. You know <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He's into hippos and narwhals. No. In fact. True. Mm. Narwhals. Uh, Kai. Yeah. Uh, what did you do before pirating? Question. <laughs> Not about what he did, it's about what does he want to oh. tell him about what he didn't do. Technically, oh. working on a ship. Uh, did, did you work for, like, the Blue Sentinels? Or, or uh, no, no, sorry, no, the, the, no. the High Seas Protectors? Protectors. No. Merchant. No, just uh, a, a, small little, a small little ship. Fisherman? It's fishing as well, yeah. Pleasure cruise. <laughs> the pleasure place. and pleasure cruise. <laughs> I don't really special work there as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good one. Nice. Good one. Nice. No, I think Kai will just tell a little bit that he got. When he was a little bit smaller, so he wouldn't be that much. It's like, oh. Back when he was a therapy. Because if, <laughs> if he, he <laughs> walks somewhere now, everybody is very noticeable. Before that, so he was a little bit smaller, he. Uh, a squirtle. He did hide on a, on, on a small ship. And when he got found, they kept him around. Stolen. So and you were kidnapped. Uh, is it kidnapping if you want to be? If, if kind of the opposite. Of form, form, form kind of the opposite are. of kidnapping, really. You can consent to being kidnapped. Hold on, isn't that what Celeste did on this ship? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's a good point. Interesting. Whatever oh, floats your boat, man. Usually water, I think. Usually so, what made good. you go to pirating then? Fun. It's fun. Well, <laughs> I hate guys. I like, I like the outfits. The, out, the outfits are, are, are nice, and I, I've had some stuff happening, and you know, things led to other things, and before you know it, you are uh, uh, in a specific group of people, and from there you uh, kind of roll into uh, a certain line of work. Oh, I definitely what can't kind relate of to that. Falling into things. Mm. Well, you you start on a small boat. You move to a bigger boat because they they overtook. Bigger boats attract pirates more. You, you know how to talk. Them. You know how to can show that you are worth something to them, so they just don't throw you overboard. So then you join them. That's fair enough. And if you like it, you stay. With all it also helped that I've never been used as an anchor on a pirate ship. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh. Meaning they don't throw them overboard. Oh, more meaning he's placed on a small ship when they stay something for half an hour. Because turtles can reef on the water, for, can stay on the water for an hour. <laughs> you and... were a literal <laughs> anchor, oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you know who, who, who we could use as an anchor? Who doesn't need to breathe underwater? Do not. I will, let, I will just let go. Uh, Cass, can we go above deck real quick? Cass couldn't weigh down a small balloon. He just just looks looks up and down at Cass. You also need, need some weight. Thank you. Well, uh, what if we just fill that. her shoes? No, fill her shoes with lead, right? Thank you. If she doesn't need to breathe, we just fill her shoes with lead. Fucking throw her over. Just, yeah, yeah, and then. When we're ready to leave, she can just walk further out and walk Yeah, she just... Oh. In theory, with a long enough rope, you wouldn't need sails, right? You could just have her... Canonically, how deep is the ocean? Fuck Canonically, scary. how deep is the ocean? <laughs> how many, how many fathoms the deepest, below sea? Isn't the, like, the how many is it? deep? Isn't the deepest point... Multiple, at least two. Like, uh, like, like the it deepest point of... Like, of uh, the deepest point of, like... Ocean in, in you know on Earth that has been like charted, so not like the fucking the trench, but Various like trenches. it's like three kilometers or some shit. It's like the deepest point of like charted. Yeah, it's not been too. Pretty ocean. deep. Uh, it's a little deeper than that, but yeah. 
something like that. So I don't know. It's similar like three to miles. That, similar to so. that, you know, like on the deepest points. Yeah, I think total Earth like damage is like eleven miles. Seven miles. Uh, it's like seven point five or something. Like that. I, I think, think it's kilometers. I think from highest point to lowest point, it's eleven miles. So from Everest to Marin Trench, I think it's eleven. So, uh, Challenger Deep. Uh, I know the Mariana Trench is like seven. The Mariana Trench is eleven kilometers, or six point seven miles deep. Yeah, I think outside of the, that trench, I feel like the deepest is like like I don't know, like three kilometers or something. Sure, four, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, that that trench is like very like isolated. That's one specific yeah, exactly. section, right? Like it's not. Mm, you know, the rest of it is different trenches. There are trenches. So yeah. you're just saying yeah, we need like but that, twenty thousand feet of rope. Not as big and deep as, as that you know, one, though. You know what I mean? The, yeah. yeah, a couple of fathoms of rope, yes. Yeah. But also trenches. Of rope, right, so we just get like 3,000, we just the, get like 10,000 feet of rope mean. and we could put guests in the bottom of the ocean. I have to pee. Okay, okay. so I think. I could Eldritch Blast the hull and sink it. Look, it was a funny joke. Uh, no. Jax, you're, you're the one here asking Kyle sorts of shit about before he was a pirate. You never really expanded on what you did before you were a sailor. Uh, before the high seas protected you, mean? Yeah. That's as far back as you've really gone with us. I, I was raised by parents. In the nicest way possible, you're pretty fucking old. Well, yes, it was like 260 years ago. <clears throat> So what the fuck did you do for that long? Well, we've matured a little slower than humans. We can tell. I have good years to pretty quick. <laughs> Aren't I like 12? That's... A... Okay. <laughs> uh, my parents didn't like me very much, so... When I got the opportunity to become an interned carpenter with the Isis Protectors, I took it. There is really a strong theme of carpentry at the moment. I'm not sure I like it. Well, it's another coincidence. Not, not to your... <laughs> Do you see a lad and just like, tinfoil hat, turn it, <laughs> yeah. put it on. Well, Brooks, I, I started with carpentry and then I moved into uh, <clears throat> jewel crafting and learning my way to help identify different goods and stuff like that and help the high seas protect yourself if they were stolen. Um, then I learned navigating to help the ship move along and cross the seas. Um, and, and then I moved into uh, learning the thieves' tools trade. Uh, you know, later on when I became a pirate. Um, and then I started tinkering. As of, well, I was smithing, but that was, you know, all kind of throughout. Uh, but, uh, and then I started tinkering about uh, four or five years ago. Woo! Excuse me. Bless Sorry. you. Okay. Bless you, Bless you. So are you from the Material Plane? Uh, I'm, fr I'm from a port town. Which but in, port in this plane? Uh, port Segalia. Or, oh. Okay. Right? Right? I don't think that's... Fuck, wait, where's the... Where's, hold there's on. Like port port there's, oh, there's a Port Serene. Fuck. And uh, nope, not Port Serene. It's, uh, fuck, fuck. I will find it. Give me a second. Port, port Segalia, that there land is port, there, is, there, is in Segalia, there is a port town called Port Segal. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Port Segal, yeah. What's Port Segal? Port Segal is in Segalia. No, that oh, no. was one was that four. Kid, was You're thinking hammered on. No, no. Port Segalia back then. No, yeah, yeah. Port, port, port Serene was the one that was destroyed in the Narc campaign. Okay. Yeah, but that's that. That's not Segalia. That's the expanse. Duke, right? Golden Blades campaign, the town we started was Port Segalia. Uh, Port Segal. Port Segal. It's okay, that's the place. Yo, shout that's out Golden Blades. <laughs> Dude, Dolgrim's out there somewhere fucking killing hoes. I don't know, man. Oh, he's, no, he's the oldest part of the shit Queen's now. Guard he's now, he's now, isn't he? Now. And I don't half orcs yeah. live a little less long half orcs than live less than humans, mm. but, you know, he so got he, his five a day, AF, he exercise AF. regularly. True. I like to imagine that's he's out there somewhere like with, like, baby Dolgrims, bro. with white wispy hair and little tusks, and he's... Very balanced diet. He's healthy. He's like, he's still, he's like God... He has a Commander now, some kid. shit, you know. He's got kids now, bro. You know. He's got grandkids at this point. He has his. We're a long right? time removed from that campaign. <laughs> Good times. So, I don't think we've ever actually had this conversation. 
How long ago was it that you stopped sailing out of Portugal? Uh, well, I was never really based out of there. We became based more so on the south side of the continent uh, and patrolled through there and around the islands. Um, it just depended. So, I think I've told Jax this. I don't think I've told the rest of you any of this, but before my dad was a blacksmith, he was a ship's carpenter, which is why I was a bit surprised when we got on a ship and, and the captain was like, you were going to be a ship's carpenter. So you were saying you want to learn blacksmithing next? I already know, I know how to blacksmith. Well, I've made things with I, I mean, make it break your profession. Are you okay? Well, what was his profession before he got into all I think this? he's got a little bit of see now, <laughs> the old man. Especially the alcohol. I think it's time for bed. He doesn't have his own personal forge, is what I mean. Well, I kind of did, right? Didn't he? No, I did, yeah. No, because it's his father's. It's not the same. Oh, it's in I the family. Family owned. No. I can and blacksmith in my realm. That's proficiently, <laughs> but I don't. In my realm. Generational wealth. Generational wealth. I can blacksmith proficiently. Like, like I can do English enough proficient. to get by, but I. <laughs> it's the alcohol, man. It's a lot common. I don't find it fun. I don't find it pleasant. I don't think it's something I'm ever going to excel at. You know, I'm never going to be... Uh, not with that attitude. Ha <laughs> ha, fucking ha. I'm never going to be a master blacksmith. I'm just not. But it's, I, it's... you know, I can forge some shit. It's cool you have that skill, though. Like, you could use it. I as like a trade school. <laughs> It's like a, a way to get by if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, a lot of, I, I, I learned it because of my dad, I think. A lot of the reason why he adopted me is because my brother couldn't. So, I think he sort of wanted someone that could. And I'm probably a disappointment in the fact that I'd didn't stay. The signed a kiss, apparently. There's another thread in this group, and it's parents being disappointed with us. Because now <laughs> Jax Brooks. I thought Dagon was just gonna sign, apparently. No. <laughs> oh. I'm a disappointment, apparently. <laughs> no. I'm sure your father's not. Sad. I mean, you might be sad that you didn't choose to you know, pursue blacksmithing, but I'm sure he's still proud of you. Finding your own way. I would have I haven't spoken Aww, to You haven't spoken to him? Nope. I'll keep minis around uh, my face. I still can haven't. help you. <laughs> what? I still haven't written the letters that I want to send, so... Fair enough. Poor Google. Never have I ever been wanted by the law. Wait. Well, technically, I drink. Wanted by the law. <laughs> I don't know. I drink. I pro. I finish this bottle. To, I drink, to... and that's something that nobody knew about Brooks. And well, that's a lie. Yeah. That is. In a way, we know lie. that you are. Hmm. Oh, right now, I mean, yeah, you know now, I guess, yeah. 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 Literally, one of the first things is my notes of my notes I keep on that we've learned in character of other players is like being oh, being used, yeah, one for alleged murders, <laughs> and, and under your alias's name, like. Yeah. Okay, but that's lies. recent, and that's not like in Brooks's mind. Yeah, oh, in, in Brooks's mind, it's not legit, but yeah. in Davian's mind, like, that's why I said it. I never really stayed. In one place, long enough to find out. No, well, can uh, I claim that I'm wanted by the law, or am I wanted by a different group that use the law enforcement? No, if doesn't. Count. Um, I'm, I'm. It listen, doesn't count. I'm saying, I'm saying I'm, that I'm counts because counting. I'm going on the basis of what Brooks has gotten into, which is technically not real, but he is wanted by real law enforcement. 
So I suppose oh, it's the same for you. We're going back. Yes, but I don't think... can walk around the city and be fine as long as they don't have a spider with it too. Yeah, well, I was thinking, yeah, I don't think a Lazarus would be taken in by oh. the so, blue sentinel. No, I wouldn't be taken, no, I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't get any justice for... No, his throne would be slit. I would, dis I would right. disappear. Yeah, no, I, I think a Lazarus in the clear. I don't think the blue sentinel is about to arrest you on site. Just so write down your name and then someone else the... comes later and... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I'd be taken... Uh, technically, I'm only wanted on water, not land. So right now? Yeah, but that's yes. still technically wanted by law enforcement, though. Yeah, I didn't say wanted on land. I said wanted so, by so the Davian, law. So, Davian, you're, you're counting the fervor's footing thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because if you went there, you would be arrested. Wait, were you not? not... <laughs> Regardless, that's, you know, that's <laughs> not technically... No, 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 no. there's a that's story not... here, bro. You already drank before you even double-checked that, so I'm... When were you That's wanted? not technically me. That's... So, well, when were you wanted by the you, mm, and Are, are you, you still wanted? Is that why you left? <coughs> red, no matter what. For red. No, 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 no. You can't go to red. Oh. Come on, coward. Brooks, what do we say about. What do we say about being wanted in places? And if we needed to fucking go? <laughs> do any of you have a pressing fucking reason to go to Scalia? Right? Yes. No. But yes, I want to know why you're wanted there. there. <laughs> well, when we fucking go there, I won't be me and it won't be a problem. It doesn't matter, we still should know so we can not spill anything by accident. Yes, what if we accidentally get sucked into a black hole that transports us all the way to Segalia? What's a black happen. hole? <laughs> well, or a, a, magical no. yeah. <laughs> or a magical chest. Or a magical chest for that matter. I fucking love how Duke keeps bringing back magical magical chest. transported to Segalia, I will magical disguise chest. myself. But can chest Not do we that? get spat right out in front of the fucking... Yes. We have oh, a chest off for right. to the house. We had in the last... Uh, when okay. I was going to send us to the abyss. Oh, the abyss, the hell, same thing. Oh. Uh, not really. I... The devils oh. and demons, and they live in separate... Oh, uh, ask the casualties of the blood war that, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, because they might be related to me. Like, great, only great, on one side, great my great grandfather died in that war. Oh shit! Yeah. I have his, I have his medals of honor. So. Uh, I mean, <laughs> blood war is not really a thing in, you know, not really, yeah, it's a thing in our know. world, right? Shut up! It is now. No, <laughs> no, it's not. We don't, we don't know. We don't Cannon. know. That. We've not been to the hells. It could just be a fairy tale. Fuck you! <laughs> it's um, a book with called that, blood no, war. Um, the evil. <laughs> is Brooks actually gonna be, gonna be like? Oh, son of if a Ravenloft can be canon. No, Why can't Brooks isn't actually of honest? Because I said so. But he's just gonna have like a. It's not a pleasant conversation. If it becomes an issue where everyone needs to know, we'll talk about it then. Brooks killed his brother, and is wanted. Can help. In Sagaria. You didn't so actually mean. kill him. What the fuck? Yeah, is that my in character? Yeah. And, and that's no, all I no, say, I yeah. Kill my fucking brother. Did you conspire it's to have him check. killed? No. It had nothing Mother. to do with my brother. Did you Inside and check. your brother kill someone by any chance? Inside check? I mean... I want to you... inside check this. I, know, I need to know. I suck at it. Oh. I, I, need to I roll. also said inside check. You don't need to roll. You yeah. don't need to roll. It's fine. No, I also said I also want to inside Yeah. Let me see what's... Inside. You don't need to roll for one, because... I roll into Elijah and I'm like... My biological mother or my fucking adopted mother, because she was gone before I was adopted and I don't know my real one, so... 17. Uh, Brooks is telling the truth. He did not murder or conspire to murder his brother. Damn. <laughs> Would've been funny. <laughs> <laughs> What a shame. What a shame. Not, what a shame. Yeah, I wish he murdered his brother. Yeah. He did not do anything involving his brother. No, it just it would have been sister. funny if I was right, just off the cuff. All right. It was his sister. <laughs> his sister's brother. <laughs> his sister. He killed himself? He decided that his brother doesn't count because he's adopted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're not my brother. Does anyone else, does anyone else have any siblings or is it just. <clears throat> I, I'm an I only mean, child. Not me. I have. Have a couple. <laughs> Used to have. He's Wait, from a noble family. They always have a few just to make sure. 
How many siblings I'm do you from have? from a noble family, and I'm an only child, so fuck you. Because when I do die out here, my dad will be well pissed. Uh, <laughs> I have an older, older sister, younger brother. Oh, write that down. That goes in the next Davian once said. But... The Davian once said, yeah, when I die, my dad will be well pissed. <laughs> <laughs> you say older sister, younger brother. Yes. Uh, and make sure time same married? What? Are either of them married? He's trying to fuck I mean, already. It's been a while since I've seen them. I've not been invited to any weddings, but you know, I have been here. I suppose Would you be, I or are you like the siblings. pariah of the family? I mean, I was the one sold off to a church at a young age, so who knows? <laughs> Guess has half siblings. On which side? My dad. My dad. Oh, of course, the genie. <laughs> So I signed a guess. Presumably, you have many since he didn't even know you exist. Well, maybe not many, but it's likely because he didn't even know you existed. <laughs> Your so, dad's a player. <laughs> I know he has. A f I know he has many, like a few because he told me when I met like none of the other ones were like me. But uh yeah. Does yeah, it not I seem think irresponsible that, might be a good that this like elemental lord just running around shitting out like half spawn of his just the now, powerful what he, what genes? What he told you, Bell, was that he definitely has you know, created more life than just you, but you are the only one that leans yeah, more towards the uh, Ganassi side, side than the human oh. human yeah. slash elf side. Depending on yeah. what race he Yeah, that's what Kat with. said. He's done one of every race and had a child of it just to see what would happen. <laughs> He's trying to create his own pantheon at this point. He's making his own fucking do <laughs> of, of his demi, own demi, demi lamentals <laughs> of every race that are going to be a a council of peace bringers to the world. They'll unite everybody with the powers or of Earth. cause the destruction of the world itself. Mm. Over, but what's it called? Override, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the override. Already, uh, but uh, but yeah. Also, yeah. he like he did know about me before I left. <clears throat> That's probably why I fucking left. I haven't met you. What? Well, uh, That's a bit fucking on the nose, don't you think? Let's have a lot of wine. Are <laughs> you gonna make jokes about our dad leaving because of her personality? I already joked I about you killing your brother. <laughs> what were you gonna say, uh, OSG? No, yeah, I was just gonna say if if Kai also is the he question, he will just say he will just say used to have and just take just takes a, another drink. Oh. Oh, siblings. Oh, we're not for the dead homies. Sad. <laughs> what? Okay, why is everything very de why is this game I don't remember it being this depressing until I used to Well I mean that wasn't even part of the game. Someone just asked if we had no, siblings okay. or not. Yeah. Do you need a hug, Kai? Do we all need to have a group hug? No, it okay. has been many years ago and this this this, this is kinda how things happen, right? Wow, three hugs in one day, that's crazy. Between three hugs. <laughs> oh it wasn't the hug. It was a hug. Hugs. No. Did you hug me? No, I well, reached over to Mendes Sale. No, I reached over to Mendes yeah, right? Sale. I mended a so cell sweet. around. He just came up behind me and hugged me. And... Wait, uh, Lazarin, do you have the hots for guess? Yeah, so you're no, touch I... starved. You seem to be making a very big deal of this. <laughs> yeah, it's. I literally leaned over to repair a cell. I'll, I'll argue as well. If you really need it that badly, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just trying to bully you, Lazarin. What the fuck? Why did you have to t make it so I was being bullied? That's so <laughs> no reason. I mean. I'm just yeah, finding it odd that you're keeping a tally. I mean. Hugs are pretty it's... normal. I would just say I don't see those hugs. When was the last time you hugged someone in this group, Davian? Yeah. Never. We're not an emotionally <laughs> expressive group. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably hug Elijah at some point. We've been, you know, maybe. I mean, probably. Tail, then. When you guys cuddled for warmth in the cave, yeah. <laughs> I, hug, I hug pleasure, but she's not really part of the group, so. Pleasure's an honor I remember at this point. I mean, he's think... probably hugged Onu, and Onu's technically part of the group. So... I fucking love Onu more than any of you cunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Onu. If you, I just signed a cast. Okay, if he love loves Onu. Onu, but then also, like, we, we've seen him just berate the shit out of him for not performing, then I would hate to be in a relationship with Davian. Wait, do we still hear that? No, that's no my drink no. ran out ages ago. Oh. It only lasts for, like, a few minutes. That was just sign language to Kess. Kes says out loud, I would also hate to be in a relationship with Davian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's got some charm to him at times. I can only imagine 
and is shooting a glance at Dagon. You're talking shit about how I treat Onu, which I think is kind of fucked up. Because, like, I mean, I'm, he's pretty all right, right? At one time, one time, I was pretty stern. And that's because I'd only just met the guy. So, <laughs> I think you should all just I, give I just it a rest. He knows that makes it worse, right? Like, being mean to someone when you just met them is worse than when you know them. Because then you well, can yeah. maybe play I mean, it off as banter. <laughs> I mean, he definitely has anger issues, but we can just, like, fight past that, you know? <laughs> Mr. Diaz. Well, he does get into issues. a fiery rage, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ethan? Is it past midnight at this point in game? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. I'm gonna root around in the bottom of my bag. Huh? And pull out the fucking... The honey and orange meat that I prepared. Fucking... A month ago? Six weeks ago? Something like oh, that? Oh, is this like the date for it to be done? Fermenting oh. or whatever? Oh my nice. god. Oh, shit! Nice. Time to That's get drunk on a boat. Keeping track of Let's the date go. for the past I think like, we're a long, <laughs> long way past that point. Look. I was gonna yep. say, I think you... <laughs> what do you mean? I've only had one- Daigon has had one single drink from her glass of wine, okay? This whole time. So, I've had one like of them and give it a sniff and see if it smells. Actually, wait, it would, be, it would be compounded into two drinks because the thoughts and prayers is alcoholic. So I've had like yeah. two drinks. Yeah. Dagon is a lightweight, this? so. No, I'm not. That's <laughs> fine. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I have, no, I have no, a decent constitution, a okay? How dare you? I have a proposal. Uh, All right. Uh, no. As we no. celebrate Brooks first, brew. Brooks is brew. We each oh. get one question. No. Oh. Ask someone, and they have to answer it. Okay, no well, questions I, asked. I'm only going to open up the one bottle, so I think we should split this amongst all of us. Right. And then if it's shit, we all have to suffer together, so... That's true. I'm down. I'm down with your idea. I will bottle my cork of, my, my, my cork of wine. Oh my god, I'm drunk. <laughs> I, will, I will bottle my cork. It's all that I will bottle my cork. Oh my god. <clears throat> I will um, cork my bottle. bottle of wine. Yeah. And um, put it in. Put it back in my bag. I'm gonna pour out everyone like I'm gonna I'm I'm just gonna pour one bottle of this fucking mead into I'm gonna split it amongst all the cups. What do I have to roll to see if there's any good or not? <laughs> what stat is for fucking brewing? Because I have proficiency with brewer supplies. I all well, Wisdom because I feel like, Mike, if it was in the moment, brewing something to be consumed immediately, I would make it, like, dexterity because, like, the physical doing it. But if it's something that aged, I'd almost maybe make it intelligence because, like, did you wait long enough for it to age? Did you, were you, like, I feel like it's more of a wisdom to... thing, though. Or wisdom, yeah. Uh, uh, wisdom sounds right to me. Medicine is wisdom, for example. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And... Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's just personal like, like, I, like I think it's more just up to DM discretion, not, honestly. Yeah, I'm just saying... Oh, really? Fuck uh, books over. Actually, stealth to see if any of you noticed that I threw it all away and bought some mead. <laughs> oh, it's just a classic. I I made this myself, guys, and it's just like you just uh, rebottled it. What was it you made again? Uh, this is the honey and orange uh, mead. Yeah. So that would be a little more sophisticated than just, you know. Here. I mean, mead. Like mead whale, is just like, like ale or wine. Food, right? You so know what I mean? Mead with some orange in it, but. Um, so I'm gonna say, so good. well, that's what Brooks may think. I'm gonna say, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I love some coffee liqueur. Oh, dude, I love coffee liqueur right now. <clears throat> to see if it kills you. Um, just roll a flat d20 plus your proficiency modifier. Ooh, flat d20. Just D20 plus proficiency. Yes. 18. Pretty good. Pretty good, especially for uh, your first, like, real attempt. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it, 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 I don't know if any of you have had mead before. It, it's, yeah, it's of course. Just like wine, but honey and orange flavor instead of grape flavor. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> All right, does everyone have their question ready for someone? Nope. No. Fuck no. Yes. Okay, it seems like sure. you have a All right, Kess, feel free to go. I, I don't. What? Brooks. Oh, Brooks. Yeah. Brooks. Brooks. <laughs> what made you leave? Brooks what, what made you leave home? You have to answer. I fucking hate you. 
I hate this game. This is I was gonna ask idea. you. Now you need a question. How much detail do I have to go into? Because this is, I guarantee That was never specified. This a is lot. gonna ruin the mood. All, all of it. Uh, we already talked about you killing your brother, I don't think. Uh, yeah, we've, we, we've, we've had some mood killers already. I mean, Kess has never had a birthday. Kai's lost some Kai's siblings. Kai's never had presents on the birthday. Yeah, that's Kai's not really different. sad, that's just a cultural thing. I got into a fight with a guy that deserved it, but probably went a little too far and didn't hang around to see what happened to him. I guess it's a bit dark and mysterious, but I feel like could have just said that. Could have just said, ex going to fight with someone, may have accidentally killed them. You know, manslaughter. That exists. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Lazarus paid off people because he's done it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I mean, at this point, we've seen him murder enough people that, like, it's no, pretty understandable. There is a difference between what we do and what we do. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm just saying. It would be a bit shocking if, like, you've never killed someone, and then you're like, oh, I actually might have killed someone. But we've seen what you can do with your bare hands and forehead and forearms and axes. <coughs> yeah, we have seen you eviscerate <coughs> many a person. Yeah. Yeah. It se does seem like the kind of thing you could probably end up doing by accident. Hmm. Funnily enough, that's people... surprisingly close to what Davian's first backstory is going to be, so that's interesting. <laughs> the people we tend to fight tend to be bad people. People. Oh, what's your brother, wasn't it? Well, everything's Fucking just a perspective change, no? Yeah. Okay. Where the bad I'm, people not sure, I'm sure the people that are part of the web. Yeah, I, I'm they... not talking about from like a morality <laughs> thing. I'm just saying, like, yeah, you get in a fight with someone, it's not surprising you manage to kill them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Of a wrong place, wrong time. No, yeah, right. Right punch, wrong place. You know, sort of. Oh, caught him in the temple. Oh. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. That's, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, Lazarin. Hello. What? What's up? We're all asking uh, someone something. Who are you asking a question to? Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> I don't really have any questions I need to ask you guys. I'll be honest. Come on, come up with something. I just can't for something. Everything's boring. Or, it could be a know, frivolous fun. It's only boring, boring if you make it boring. Yeah. Oh, yes, because I'm pissed online. They don't have to be like hard hitting. They can just be <laughs> yeah. like something funny. Nah, you're right. The last one's kind of boring. Or just like, if you could get a tattoo, what would you get? Like, I don't know. Just pick something fun. If you could get a tattoo, we'd get that. I don't understand you saying. Web. That's but... me, yeah, signing to Kess, <laughs> like, that if she wants to translate. But I'm like, I don't think why it's hard. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of <laughs> things about. That you don't know about us, they, you know. Oh, there's plenty like I don't know. know about any of you, but I'm not... But then just yeah, ask. I'm not, Pick I'm one. Not, I'm not that, you know. Come on. Pick uh, one. Come, come back to me. Come back to me in a second. Okay. You know, uh, all right. Uh, Dig it. Okay. I don't want to take another one of my drinks. So you saw her while this whole time she's been writing down like a question, and she's looking at the paper really, really thoughtfully. And she wrote down like three separate things and she scratches out two of them so they are at least in theory illegible like i've covered enough of the writing that you can't see the other two questions she was thinking about guessing mm -hmm. or asking and then she like turns the book around to brooks with the one question not scratched out do you think you deserved to beat me when we sparred in the past and do you honestly think it was fair Oh, <laughs> not paying attention. Brooks is staring off into the distance. Then I'll just um, uh, like snap my fingers in front of his face and like wave and then point to the mm -hmm. book. <laughs> oh, um, I mean, define fair. No, you know what? No, fuck you. Yeah, I do think it's fair. The first fight we had, I was gonna be honest and fucking. Oh, you know, implying that the other fight not wasn't honest. Any sort of dirty tactics, and you kicked me in the fucking bollocks. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. That's a bad You point. took the first blow, blow, and. 
I love creating fights in the party. <laughs> An actual fight. Like, Brooks is smiling as he says this. In the party. I do hope to get, you know, see you guys fight it out again. I not no no do that. <laughs> I mean maybe we could maybe we could change the terms. Oh no no holds, no grapples, and then you just got Or oh, just a straight punch out. Yeah. yeah, wouldn't that be fucking sick? Yeah, because great. No cause armor. I really no want to be the one healing no through this. Neither of us wear armor. And you, you'll yeah, hear them. The what man, am I going to do? The man can kind of like, disguise myself there's one as Daigon mid fight. Group of crewmates, like sitting a couple tables separated, and it's like. Talking about the punch up? Oh no. It is a bit of a tradition <laughs> on the ship, you know, obviously oh, with, no. with the fight nights. Whenever we return from a successful venture, we do a little, you know, like those fight nights and the docks, but just the crew. So if it's a, it's a punch up you want, then, you know. Only I person I'll be willing like, to fight is a ladder. I just do one or of Kess. these. Like, oh, but that seems a bit fucked up. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to beat the shit out of Kess. <laughs> All the stupid shit she says. I, and you, Davin, as well, I, actually. You said some stupid shit as well. I don't say anything stupid. You said some fucking stupid shit. You have. Yeah, what's your point? Stupid things sometimes. Also, it feels like fucking We up all say some man. stupid shit. Everything I say makes sense. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I mean, I we joke about give fighting, Kess but... just the like dirtiest fucking stare. Right. <laughs> it's like proper like. We, Nothing. I mean, we we joke about fighting, but there are some things that Daigon does that I would like to know how the fuck she does. And go ahead and ask. Well, that's true. You have a yeah, question. It's your you question. question. I feel like for Daigon, showing would be a lot easier than explaining, and would take mm. time and effort. I write in the book. Actually, explaining is probably easier because there's nothing tangible to show. It's a mental thing. Uh, makes it even more confusing. <laughs> Don't really think with any amount of watching or explaining, you're going to be able to pop out some magical arms and no. be show people with them. But just Diagon and I do. At its core, the same thing, but in two very different ways. We are both the people that hit things. Yeah, Diagon has, like, elegance. <laughs> <laughs> elegance to the brute force that <laughs> Brooks thing. uses. Uh, even the, the, cr the crewmates, a couple times separated, one of them just goes... <laughs> <laughs> They're Brand doing that, like, not listening, but, like, totally listening. Yeah, like, look, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm... I think... It's probably more that we're so loud, you know, like when you start shouting yeah, at pub and get really shouting. So you're naturally you're gonna Weather be like. Weatherspoons yeah. and Cardiff. Yeah. <laughs> you're mean... a fucking. <laughs> All right, now Kai's had his shit off the boat. I mean, if if, <clears throat> like, if you wanted to, I would, you know, in return, I would try and show you how to maybe get out of a grapple. Because I feel like, like obviously, unless we're having a punch up, I'm not gonna fucking grapple you and beat the shit out of you but you know someone else might and i would rather not see that happen i just like nod i just do this gesture like i don't worry about it and write in the book usually i can <clears throat> this is a first for me it's part of why it's annoying well now i feel it's like a <laughs> <laughs> like normally with feet like the feline agility cat dexterous like I am a given the point is up till now this out of character I've only been fighting like probably you know average people so I've never met someone I couldn't just be like Bleh, and do the cat thing where you just kind of like you're trying like you know you're trying to hold the cat that does not want to be held yeah, liquid. yeah, yeah. Liquid cat. <laughs> and so this is probably one of the rare times I've uh, not been able to do that with my dexterousness so <clears throat> um Okay, so for, no sake of, uh, for, for the sake of, for sake of, because one of us is gonna get a hurt ego. Time. Hi. Right. Since we're all getting a question, <laughs> that's what? that crewmate of yours, <laughs> the big blue one. She uh single? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be fucking lucky. As far as Kai's aware, <laughs> she is. Yeah. Just try and find out yourself. Shit. 
No, in case I do have that, a question. That's not, a, that's not a proper answer. That's not a proper answer, Kai. What, what, what are the rules of the game? As far as I know, yes, he is. All right. Anyone and else? I, I have a question for Cass real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, if it came down to it, between being able to cure your dad or save the party, which would you choose? Look. Oh, that's shit. pretty fucking heavy for a... <laughs> oh, shit. A oh, damn. I need to know. What happens to ask fun questions? And this is a fun question. That's not a fun question. That is so... You're just and we did not get... specify fun questions, to be fair. You're just looking to get someone upset with that. No, um... I want to know. By the rules of the game, it's fair enough, but, you know, it is what it is. Like, the whole group? And just say one of us or the whole. Take it as you want. Well, depending on context, but... With no context, probably the group. Lanceran genuinely looks shocked to his core. So does Jax. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I missed the question. Is that the right an answer, or...? Would you rather watch your dad, who you cared deeply about, clearly, but also abandoned you and then came back, die, or would you rather watch your friends die? That's fucked up. Quite an that is quite an answer. But daddy <laughs> should be strong like that, you know? <laughs> is that from personal experience? Also in the Davian once said video. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy you should be strong like that. <laughs> I mean Kess cares about us as a whole. <laughs> Excuse me. Hang on. Wait. You what? think that means she cares about us? Didn't she just say she'd rather see us die than her dad? No, she No, she said she'd so, save the question, us. The, question, the, the question was who would you save? Who'd she save? And she picked yeah. up. Like, well he's already fucking dying anyway, so that's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who Davian? No, there's Good a Good thing no one in the group is dying, huh? <laughs> Awkward. And that potentially my own survival lies in finding a cure for my own father. How wrong? As Cass told us previously, that was like maybe her on the. No, <laughs> no I've been joking mean... about you having the fucking plague ever oh, since we heard not. about it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like... Mm. I'm sorry, are you saying wait, that you wait, could have contracted this? Hang on. <laughs> Is this a... Your question's now even more fucked, Jackson. This is true. <laughs> I, I didn't know. Yeah. Would you rather condemn yourself and your father to death? Or I just wanted to know if she trusted that. us as a, or if she liked us as a party. I... You could just ask that then. You could have just, you 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 just asked. Jack, you're the that. smartest idiot I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, social grace it lies in the in the edge of the Ganassi side, so I could contract it at any point oh well this oh. is fantastic news uh, what's the beginning sign as far as i'm aware greens like on the skin i mean this light yes do you know where it's supposed to start <laughs> Do you know of where to start looking? What, for the cure? Or for like... Uh, uh, yes, for, or for a way to find the cure? Or... Um, my... Grandfather is looking into it. Uh... The theory is that, um... An old flower... Can... Has, has healing powers for it. But the flower is supposedly extinct. Oh. So we need Brilliant. to time travel. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, man, this your is the fucking time police your... exists, man, and we'll get on your ass, <laughs> too, bro. We'll have a fucking exists. joint fucking court case between Nicole and you, bro. Watch out. <laughs> Did they get the same appointed lawyer? <laughs> 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 Nicole's become their, like, bailiff now. <clears throat> Nicole's right. been summoned on jury duty. But, um... <laughs> I'm going to bed before I say any more hurtful things. I'm, I'm going to join you. You're gonna join him in bed? That's... oh. So... 
the sake of uh, brevity, because we are, it's it's about time for us to end. Um, yeah. well, we're having fun, Dad. I, I know, but it's fuck. It's bedtime. <laughs> uh, we can go you for all, another six hours. You all head to bed. I, I'm down. And you get I'm awoken down. bright and early the next morning. So you get a long rest. You get a long rest. Yes. Cool. Yay! Uh, oh, cool. By a bell ringing, just ding 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 ding, and you'll hear Captain Vera shout. Ship on the horizon! Oh, and as you all kind of emerge from the lower deck, you can spot in the horizon a ship about equally as big as the one that you're on, made from the hull, made from these bright white planks, and all the railings and, and masts are, are, are more like, oh, no. like crimson color. So oh, I hate okay. it. Uh, is that the colors of the the the, the sea men protectors? No, the high sea protectors. No, they're absolutely not. No. Uh, okay. Sails down, but completely tattered and 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 torn. Oh back, god, back, it's gonna be like some undead shit. Back mast collapsed Anti and hanging and hanging to the water. Storm that we did. And you can, as you get closer, you'll see that there's a name written on the ship: uh, the White Phantom. And uh, we'll end it there. We'll pick this up are next they, week. Are they flying any colors? Uh, as far as you could tell, they were not flying any colors, no. Go ship, go ship. It's and I don't good. recognize the name of the ship? Write it down. We'll check next time. Ah. Not next week. Next hey, Laura, time. what's the date now? Is it <laughs> the first. The first. First, first of, of septum. September. So yeah. Septum. This was fun. I enjoyed so, oh, uh, hell yeah. That was day so three yeah. of your uh, like seafaring venture just started. And uh, next week, you're going to oh, yeah. can find out whatever the fuck that whatever broken fuck down that is. ship is all about. Mm. Um, thanks so much for being Let's here. Appreciate you. And uh, are we doing Div tomorrow? Divinity? Uh, we can. Yeah. I don't see why not. Okay. Then we're doing Div tomorrow. Hell yeah. Let's go! Uh, Div back, as baby. As far as Discourse goes. Um, I can be there this week. Then I definitely want you, Soko. Yeah. Uh, Shatter, you down for a little uh, little Dungeon Discourse on Thursday? Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. All right, beautiful. So that'll be Thursday. We'll have uh, we'll have Soko and Shatter. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Thank you so much Shatter. for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm bros. New dungeon select next week, of course, next can we, Sunday. Can hmm? can we host? Um, because Profane's live. He and Daft are doing a game shuffle. Want to throw a host over to them? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Absolutely, we'll uh chuck him chuck him a little little raid. Profane artillery. Yes, and we'll uh show some love to Profane and Daft. And uh, we'll be live here tomorrow with uh, Divinity and Thursday with Discourse and then oh, yeah. next Sunday with another Dungeon Select. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate yeah, you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Love cock. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And it's now slowly, like, fade out. It's just like...